you know, I think he kind of survived. I think he's back. Yeah. You know, I, I think, think he. he just, uh, I think he just kind of swept under the rug. Well, I mean, when it took place, I mean, like having a bad boss. Now, I heard some weird other sexual yeah, stuff, but it wasn't that emphasized besides how he treated them. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, well, shoot, sound like a weird artist, bad boss thing to me. It don't sound like that uncommon. Like, they just didn't emphasize the, like, did you talk about like, a, a basement for sex or something? Or I don't know what they was talking about. Dungeon. But. Well, did you see the, the dude suiting Kanye? From, Who? From Donda University or whatever? No? For what? Hold on, Rico, send it to him. Yeah. Donda University, man. What? Remember he made that school? <laughs> yeah, they, but what are you suing him about? What are they talking about? Oh, it's, it <laughs> it's funny. It is funny. Damn, this is a real story? Yes. yes. The rapper then physically threatened Phillips, according to the suit, repeatedly saying he was going to punch you in the face before his mood suddenly shifted. Imitating the celebratory dance of Mario from the famous video game Super Mario Brothers, the suit claims, Kanye jumped up with punching one <laughs> fist in the air while he said, I'm going to give you one more chance, another life. <laughs> He did a you can know. He like, uh, I like that. Sure. As long as it ends in sexual, uh, sometimes you gotta do it. Jump said, here air we punch. Go. Yeah, sometimes you gotta jump in the air and punch in the sky. On no, but fools, some of the huh? stuff he they talks some about is crazy. It's pretty crazy. They, he wanted to have like a jail at the school for kids. Oh shit! Yeah, he wanted to shave their heads. shave all their heads. Oh, that's a cult. Yep. Well, we already knew that, right? Yeah, that's a psychopath. A jail at the school though, I ain't mad at though. These kids bad though. Appreciate everybody who. <laughs> oh, oh, what am I talking sick. about? That's not how I do and this. And a December uh, 2022 meeting at the Nobu Hotel in Malibu, Ye allegedly, oh, praise Hitler, that's not cool. And denied <laughs> the Holocaust, that's also not cool. And dismissed gay people as non Christians, that's not cool. Before having the hotel staff play the Batman 2022 theme music, creating an uneasy atmosphere for Phillips. No, he said. That last part's kind of sick. No, he Wait. put the movie on silent and made them watch it. Didn't that what it says? I don't know. Put it's the like Batman movie on and made them watch it in silence? Yeah. Fam, that movie that was almost fire, three actually. hours. Uh, yeah, I know. That ain't fire. What you talking about? Uh, That's kind of sick. Yeah, That's Charlie creepy. Chaplin was in it. <laughs> a silent Batman movie, man. I don't know, a silent Batman? It wasn't <laughs> enough action in that movie for it to be silent. The music's the best part. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, and they played it way too much, that one song. It was fire. Though. That song was fire. <laughs> that shit stuck in my head for... Uh, <laughs> yeah, who sung that? I forgot. Nirvana. Nirvana. Oh, Nirvana. That's right. Yeah. Nirvana. Oh, don't get the Nirvana talk I again. That's stupid. Uh, Wait, what's wrong with Nirvana? What no, no, I love Nirvana. Nirvana. Nirvana sweater one time. And I love Jordan's Nirvana. Like, you don't even know a song from them. Uh, that's Seattle. We'll start a whole love. fucking fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here for that. He, oh, used, to, right. he used to be in the office arguing about music with uh, the dude at work. Talking about you play, you play a song, I name who it is. I think Greg went like 0 and 11. <laughs> He was Bryce playing Harper. like. I just tell him, be honest. He was playing stuff from like the '60s and no, stuff. He, like, yeah, he was. He was playing no, he like. He probably was playing. They were playing no. spoons and stuff. <laughs> uh, like I didn't know that music. He was like, that's obviously spoons. the bluegrass band and the Billy Goats. So like, oh, I, I thought that was something else. All right, appreciate everybody at Pivot Stocks. Go to getpivot.com. That's G-E-T-P-Y-V-O-T.com. Use the promo code Sneak This Podcast. Get yourself a discount. Get yourself some free shipping. Every pair of socks that you do buy does support an episode of this podcast. Go to getpivot.com. That's G-E-T-P-Y-V-O-T.com. <sighs> Yo, Sneak This Podcast, episode 355. George, Rico, Andy, Greg, back in the studio building. Damn, y'all out here worried about Shohei Otani. This says Bruno Mars has gambled over six hundred and sixty million in the last decade. I mean, fam, you know, let me touch six hundred sixty million. Yeah, huh? but you see, pause, no day. You know what? I know we're gonna talk about Otani. You know, we're gonna talk about that later because that right there <laughs> is a prime example of something. Uh, and and with Shohei, and it's a prime and example of many things. <laughs> it is <laughs> social media running with. A story that ain't Show confirmed. Not worth talking well, about. Uh, MGM said it wasn't true. Though. What? Which one? MGM said that it wasn't true about yeah. that debt that about he has. Bruno who, Mars. Who Bruno Mars. Oh, 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 yeah. They said that they have a uh, understanding. Uh, I was like, I ain't heard another about MGM. They said, yeah, you keep you keep playing those songs. You, yeah, you keep, yeah. Keep you keep dancing up there, <laughs> and you come down and bed. You won't get no check. You just keep dancing and spinning. Um. Oh, he was doing it while he was doing a residency. Or he's yeah. still there. Yeah, he's so, still there. but still there. well, I mean, but the sure. But I'm saying, like, the, the what the story is saying. It's something along those. They said they got a relationship. <laughs> That's all I know. So, 
Uh, previous to everybody who subscribes to the podcast, share DMs, comments, and stuff like that, man. Uh, always good to be back podding. Like Diddy in a foreign country. Huh? I mean, look, man. <laughs> You turn a blind eye to some things, uh, you know? Yeah. You turn a blind eye to some uh, things. Listen, at least he's gambling, oh, not diddying. Look, man. We, we have no idea. Though. Blind, we gotta let the blind, facts play. Blind eye is what you call it when Rashi Rice is behind the wheel of the car. Though. That's what you call it. Football players are out of control. <laughs> Them the NFL rules, they need to change. The rules outside, <laughs> not rules drive. not rules on the field. You rules stay outside. inside your house. No driving. Yeah, only like, allowed to go back and forth to games and practice. No Hellcats, no sports cars, <laughs> no. Bam, did you see the story? He wasn't curfews. even in his own car. He was in the rental car. Yeah, he was oh. driving a Lamborghini and not his own car. <laughs> you went to rent a car to race your somebody else in your car. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You know what's crazy <laughs> what is, is that like doing? that right there is there's no way out of that. Like you went and rented the car to go like you there's. <laughs> And he's the only one that's allowed to drive the rental. Like, yeah, like yeah. there's just no way. Like, even if you do leave, like it's stupid. Um, anyways, we're doing um, top ten sneakers. Sneakers <laughs> we own. You practiced this too. I did. Top ten sneakers. Why don't you just say top ten we sneakers own that you'll never sell or as of ever. right now? All right. We won't sell why to you, us. Why would you pick a shoe you don't own yet? <laughs> no, no, no. I said top ten sneakers. I know, but you don't even need to say that. Like, I mean, you never know because you're not gonna put Galaxy Foams on the list if you've never had them. <laughs> I'd never you, sell them, right? But I'd never sell them. No, if I had them, fam. Is that what the list is? No, it's oh. what you own. You gotta own it. Confused. You own your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are they on a, a firm? firm? <laughs> yeah. Do you own them? You got them joints? That's, That's a good question. You got payments left? On a firm. Do they, do they, have, a, do they have a lean holder? <laughs> uh, <run> a, yeah, <laughs> family, your shoe has a lean holder. That's crazy. Man, you got to get a, what's it called? A co-signer? You got to oh get a co-signer. Mm-hmm. You got to make payments to Fannie Mae. Look, yeah, I know we've done this list. We've done this crazy. list in, in in many different variations throughout the years, but who cares? Like, but it, the fact that everyone's sneakers has changed, people are downsizing. Cause oh yeah, one hundred percent. Talking about that in the thread, this, it's a good time to Rico selling half his closet. Why are you selling all your stuff? That's not all my stuff. Well, why are you, you selling half your stuff? Stuff? Oh, stuff that I don't wear. Oh, is that what you're doing and, for the wedding? I mean, maybe pending. <laughs> well, it, it still might not be enough, but. Oh, I thought you meant pending, like, the wedding may not happen. I mean, it's, it still may not. Like, we might, like, do a destination thing. No, 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 no. I mean, and... like, you're not getting married. Oh. Like, you're going to get married. Oh, that's you just... happening. Oh, okay. Hell or high water. Don't, don't tell Amber. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, she'd be Did enormous she mad. No, that's happening. <laughs> enormous no, mad. Well, good. I mean, as long as you're still making that happen. Yeah. Right. Don't have nothing crazy, dude. Just go down. Just... You, your mom, her family, just get it done. Yeah. I had maybe 30 people at my wedding, and mm-hmm. only two people in there, three people in there weren't family. Like, yeah. And we moved on. Cats was upset and bothered by, oh, it's a buddy. People were? Who real? cares? Oh, yeah. I didn't invite a single coworker. I didn't invite my best friend. Like, I was like, buddy. George didn't go? I didn't. Were you at my wedding? No, you weren't at my wedding. Hey, look at him. Uh, get, talking about how he had a small wedding, then he got mad at you for putting him in the back and not putting him up there with I you. wasn't allowed to. I tried to invite people from work. I wasn't allowed to. Putting him uh. in the back is crazy. <laughs> yeah, me me, and, and Ryan was by the bathroom. Uh, we about to <laughs> exit, you know, the fire escape. <laughs> yes. The door opened and just hit their t- chair in the, the back. fire right? escape. Now, any of the sneakers on your guys' list, are these considered grails? So the I, way, the way I did them. it is, like, some of them are, like, my favorite sneakers. That I was like, there's no way I'm selling. And then the other ones have, like, specific reasons why I wouldn't sell them. Okay. But some of them are kind of grailish. See, I didn't do any, like, I told Rico, I was like, I didn't do anything that, like, meant something to me. Like, I didn't do, like, oh, these because of this. Like, I, I didn't do one. any of that. I have one. Uh, I didn't do any of that. Like, any, like, my OG, OG, OG pairs or anything. Like, I got left from my dad's pairs or anything like that. I just did, like, things that I like to wear or things that, like, probably won't retro again or you know, things like that. So it ain't like a too crazy of a list, but I didn't go back and look at any other videos of like what I've done in the past. Like I, I know we've done this before, but I, I can't remember. And I didn't do like black and white vans. Like that's what I wear every single day almost, but then I can go get them down. Exactly. Yeah. It's something I mean, you just pick out the shelf. Yeah, they may got those at Famous Footwear now for all I know. I don't know. They're just old school vans I love to wear. 
Um, but yeah, I was like, somebody was like, they asked me if we were doing a top 10 today. Shout out to him. And he was like, I told him what he was doing. He was like, oh, yes. We get to hear your guys' grills. And I was like, I don't think we have grills anymore. Uh, like, I think you got to stop having a grill once you hit your late, your late 30s. Uh, no, I don't think so. Don't think what's a grill? True. What's a grill? And, and I don't mean like Yeezy 2s and that stuff like that. That is the that. grill. Like, yeah, but yeah, see, that's, that's like unobtainable now. Yeah, like, yeah. I impossible. feel like once you get to 1,000, I don't know if that qualifies a grill anymore. Like, Wait, 1,000 what? Like it's 1,000 $1, dollars? I, I don't know, man. Like... I mean, we talked about this before. Like, I think if if I go on StockX and get the shoe for a thousand dollars and like pay the shoe and have the shoe, that's not a grill. Because it's on StockX. Like, I know where it is. Like, that's not everything on StockX. Yeah, but, but yeah, but not. I don't know. Not everything. I feel like, I feel like I found. I mean, spoilers for my list, but like, I feel like I found Wimbledon Tech challenges, like, not on. Well, Stock see, X like they were a price I'm willing to pay. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. Even if I had something else that was like, I really, really love it. Like, I would never have paid for Kennedys. Kennedys are like, what, 15, 12, like, whatever they were. I don't know what they are now. Nine, like, whatever they were. I would have never, ever paid for those. I called them grills for a really long time, but I'm like, I never would have paid for them. So I don't know if it's a, a grill to me. I feel like once you get to a certain, we would have got anything. Well, like especially I, when you got the 2.0. Yeah, I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. and I got that on my list, but I really don't even know why I got that on my list, to tell you the truth. I couldn't tell you the last time I put that sneaker on or where it's at or... It maybe doubles. Yeah, yeah, I got doubles of those and then the red ones. So who knows? But that is the list today. So like I said, I appreciate it, but like subscribe share this podcast. Pickups. Anybody got anything new? The box. Oh shoot. What you got in there? What's the other one? Brits? Uh yeah. Oh, okay. Dang, that box isn't DS either. Green <laughs> that bread box. <laughs> uh the green what is it called? Malachi. Malachi. I almost got the the blue like suede malachite, and I almost got scammed for him on IG. So, shout out to you. They called my phone and everything. It's nuts. Fam, uh, yeah. you getting scammed and you selling collections? What do you mean? Oh, how you almost get scammed? Oh, because it wasn't like a real place, and it like I had to like do some research for them to be like, no, it's a scam. I was like, oh, okay. Whoops. Look Whoops at Daisy. You. You've been in the game way too long to be getting scammed over blue dunks. Nah. Cobalt. Cobalt. Is it cobalt? Yeah, I yes, think it, it was Dodge, cobalt. Dodge Cobalt. <laughs> that, might, that might have the shortest production run in U.S. car history. Huh? <laughs> you know what I was going to do? Those are was fired bring up. my suede breads in. The little oh, comparison. That in your hand right now. I actually see Michael Jordan put on this foot. <sighs> Them joints look fire, <laughs> boy. Them <laughs> joints are better than OGs. I don't care what nobody say. These might suck. <laughs> you out of control. Uh, nah, I don't like the shape as much. That I feel like that's what better. makes it. That's what makes it better is the shape. That shape is better. Absolutely not. Nope. Disagree. Bro, you should have been a. Uh, who studies shapes? Uh, <laughs> a shape okay. biologist. Okay, I'm always talking <laughs> about shape shapes. Uh, yeah, oh, shape, shape matters. <laughs> the shape does matter, but like, good lord. Nah, that's, that one's better. Oh, I think that God. shape is better. I think you need to take the the other one out and look at it too. Make sure. Anybody else getting pickups? Anybody? Uh, I got the Reimagined Breads, too. Um, I got both pair of Devin Bookers that came out. Mm. Um, I got doubles of the blue ones. Mm. Someone had the snakes get one in hand. Is it already out? Or? Yeah, they don't, they don't go. they like a 220. I thought about buying it today. It hasn't released yet, though. Oh, man. Yeah, they come out this week or next week. This no, week? The, so the next two to come out is the Hike. That one. That's the snake skin one, eh? No, there's also a oh, rattlesnake. Oh, the rattlesnake one. Yeah, yeah, no. The, the hype second. one. What? The rattlesnake is the white one that got the rattlesnake swoosh, the snake skin swoosh, and then the animal print a hike one is yeah. the premium it's hike. It's like the yeah, gray yeah. with the orange outline. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm talking about snake shoe. The one you put on the thread. I didn't see another one. What? Yeah, yeah. The, the animal prints. Like all the different animal prints over it. Uh, yeah, you'll see the releases. Yeah. they come out this week. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. You're almost up. Let's go. Um... <laughs> So I got two pairs of the blue ones. I've been hooping in the one of them. They are so comfortable to play basketball in. And I told y'all, though, I was a little worried. Like, the size tags came off on both pairs. The joints looked like they were heat pressed on. Like, there's no stitching. It just, hmm. like, is peeling off, which I've never seen before in any shoe. I'll tell you this. It's the best basketball shoe I've put on foot in a Facts. long time. It and I went, like, is. oh, shoot, I can't actually wear this. Like, yeah. what a fit. Like, you actually can. It's comfortable, and playing basketball is even better because it's really lightweight, but you still feel like 
you're safe, I guess. I will say I probably should have went a half size up, but I would have felt like it looked a little big. Yeah, they're That's, tight. People, they are tight. Uh, I don't mind it for basketball. That's all I've, all I've worn it for so far. So it, I didn't mind it for that because I like it tight. Pause. Um, hey, yo. Did, no diddy. Go for a hike <laughs> is the one I'm talking about. What's yeah. the other one? Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. <laughs> Damn, we we know. ordered the rattlesnake. Yeah, one. or Andy did. I don't think so. I ordered every. I said every. Every one, but none of them came. None of them came. All I remember ordering is Leo Messi's entire uniform from top to bottom. Uh, and I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> he said he got them joints. Oh, he did. Yeah, he said he had to fight for yeah, them. Oh, huh? he nope. said he put everything into it. Yeah, I don't remember. I was at like another training in the middle of that. Oh, I was we like, had it on mute. Yeah. And was no, you mute. didn't have you, it on mute. You didn't have the mute. We on. had to no. keep muting you. No, I went back and forth between mute and non-mute. Not on no, ours because I had to keep. Uh, he had to keep muting you. We was hearing all the secrets. Huh? Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, NDA out the door. The secrets. <laughs> the what else you cop? You wore the brown system. ones yet? The brown nah. books. Oh, okay. Um, I cop these that I'm wearing. Fire. Uh, they were just sitting on Nike. <laughs> they send everywhere. I saw them at a cow town the other day. Yeah. So I was like, I, I've always loved these. And love them. Yeah, they're incredible. Might as well. I think that's it. George, you got a pair of I might have bought a pair of Vans or something. I don't know. That I must. Happens. I know yeah, Vans. Man. I just caught randomly. Like I said, George, you copied these sneakers lately? No snake. Take a hike? It's not for a while. Oh, it's right. the white one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that one sucks. I'm talking about the other one. George, you copy anything? Absolutely not. You already know the answer to that. How many cards? Lame. You cards. You got you get a Mel Gibson card? Uh, I actually just sold that one last yeah. night. Fam, did you pull that card or did you buy that card? No, I bought it. How much you buy it for? One forty. God. Dang. Guess I'm. A, I know your room for. Sold it for. Of course I would. Seven hundred. Look at Rico. You need an intern. <laughs> you got a card intern. You already got Crazy. an intern. It's called Hannah. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah, a great yeah. wife, but oh, Rocio right. so wouldn't help me with they're nothing true, like they're that. They're true to size or they're small or big? You got to go half size up. I go I half can't. <laughs> oh, well, then you'll be all right. It's $60 more than the true size. You won't wear them. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> That go makes a difference when you're looking on sites. Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie to you. Go th- I'll oh, no, sorry. Actually, it's 120 more. Oh yeah, I'll wear go a 13. I'll if I, I even I know I need a nine and a half. I'll buy a 10 if it's cheaper. 13 like, will reach from here to that table. Though. Yeah, you bought that. How much the animal print go for in my, your size? 206 and 206? 12. Yeah, that's no. They don't even do that. They're gonna be on Nike. Yeah, but are they gonna be enough? The price no, might come on down. Nike.com. Oh, they are? Not sneakers. Oh, okay. The price might come down, but you already know me, Pam. I don't care. I mean, I think all the stores are getting them, too. I think I think the rest of the books now are going to be pretty available. I don't think they're going to well, be Well, what hard. we were told is, like, <clears throat> they were trying to make sure the first ones were pretty... Y'all been talking them up so much, I need a pair, and I might as well get that snake skin. Uh, not, the, not the white snake. Yeah, uh, the hike. hike no, nah, you need a pair of bookers. They're, you got, they're, they're comfy. You got them, Rico? No, he hates them, too. Even though white snake is huh? a fire band. Huh? Huh? I don't hate them. Oh, so James okay. hates him. No. No, James yes. camped out for him. He left when we left that restaurant. He went straight oh, to yeah, undefeated. Right. I don't hate him. I think they're fine. They're good. You said something about like you make the books like they're the greatest shoe ever, and they're not even that good. That was absolutely not me. Wow, you I say so much so. hate, you can't even remember. <laughs> I'll go ahead. Y'all pull it up. Y'all pull it up. Um, I do not remember. So I think the shoe is fine. Like, it's I, cool. I meant to bring them today, but I got the... I'm not a the... Suns fan. Like, what, what am I going to buy a book for? What does Man, it matter? I ain't got nothing to do with it. Got, like, what are you are talking you a about? Fan? I mean, I have Jordans. Do uh, t- you, you have LeBrons? I don't think I have any Have you owned LeBrons? Actually. Have you, do you have Kobe? Oh, I do Also, no. You don't got any Kobe's? Fam. I did. Huh? I did, but... But you sold them recently? Yeah. Well, well yeah. not recently, but... Like, Selling Kobe's a disrespect ago. to his you legacy. Know, right? Relax, <laughs> you. This was several years prior to... Oh, so passing. you made the you made the cut. Um, you got Julius Randle Skechers? No. I pulled up... I mean, I didn't. I forgot to bring them, but I got Anthony Edwards ones. Mm. Those are foams, by the way. <laughs> what I just makes you to even known. say that? I just wanted to but be But why? Known. They are foams. Have That's you had exactly them in hand? what they are. It's from a design perspective, the fact that all of them are one color, the black on the top, like the black lacing system, they're foams. They're 2024 foams. It's a hoop shoe. I mean, maybe he did maybe get some inspiration from that. I don't know. Maybe. It's not a, a far fetched take, mm-hmm. but I will say those in hand. <sighs> I'd rather have those than books. I'll say that. 
Them joints is fire, but I have no idea what I'm about to do with these Anthony Edwards. Uh, I got <laughs> no idea what I'm about to do with Step them. Step your left foot in. Put t- put tie the laces. They don't yeah. suck. They're for the court. You could buy a display case and a jersey and put on mm. the wall. Uh, yeah, but I got to have that case. dunk video playing on loop. Yeah. Man, yeah, like the you NFT. You got NFT. more than one of those, by Facts. the way. Facts. I saw, <laughs> I watched a YouTube thing. I was like, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, I forgot about that one. That one he had uh, in the bubble. <laughs> Sky. I be forgetting he had dreadlocks when he first got in the league, too. Shout out to him, man. Uh, but I got them joints in hand. I don't know, man. They aight. Right. Like, I ain't going to sit there and say, like, them joints are stupid fire. They aight, right, man. They cool. They're for the basketball court, though. They're they for the everybody. basketball court. Like, I've seen a couple of people wear them casually, and they haven't looked that bad. Shout out to the homie. I'm legend. But I, they all right, man. Um, What else did I buy? I don't know. I bought a bunch of essential stuff. I don't know. Cortez, a bunch of stuff. Got Cortez, Mac Attack, some Cortezes. Something else. I don't know. Are, um, are those the jound uh, sambas? You get those? The jound ones? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> them jound ones suck to me. <laughs> I don't even like the blocking on them. <laughs> um, I can't remember what else. I feel like I got something else. That was it. I tried on Air Max Day and all that stuff, but we'll kind of talk about that a little bit later. Um, Other than that, that was it, man. Headed to Miami on Friday, so go watch the greatest soccer player of all time play. If he plays, he better not still be hurt, so see how that goes, but... I know Katz is already like, bro, did you say you're going to Miami? You could do a pot out there. Like, no, no, no. I don't got time like that, though. <laughs> I got very little bit of time, and I got to be smart about it. And I have my nephew and my son with me, and we're going to be running all over the city. Though, so. People love the traveling pods. I'm like, I ain't got time for that. Though. They were like, yo, I know a studio, fam. I ain't going to Hitmaker Studio or whatever out there. <laughs> what's up? What's his name that used to do all the beats and was on cocaine and stuff? Mm-hmm. Uh, you remember? He went he broke. Do. He Scott went storage? Scott Storage. Yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, I ain't, go, I ain't going to his studio. Uh, and me and a, a Rico case or something. Uh, but uh, go find anyways, Diddy. go find Diddy down there. You right? He may he he down there I for thought, certain. I thought you were talking about DJ Khaled. Right? Oh, that's who I need to go hit up. Yeah, now, if I could true. go get Khaled on a pod about yep. sneakers, you know yep. what? Let me go ahead and hit the hit, hey, DM hit the DMs see what to see what oh. happens, yo. If you don't mind, you know, another one. Um. That's all I got. Anybody else? Releases, George. Let's do releases. Bye-bye. Get through this pod uh, so we can get to this list and go home, fam. It's hot, though. This sweater is hot. I'm cooking over yeah, here. Yeah, I made a mistake. Um, Dunk Low SE Phantom Khaki. Uh-huh. I guess I'm going to pull the app up, too. <laughs> we have to now. Fam. Uh, SL72 RS Pack. I don't know if they think the Olympics are this week or what, but we don't need it. Um, Only OG Blue. Uh, Imran, who's Imran? Imran Potato. Uh, vans. Uh, I don't know who that is either, but I like the Vans. Those are cool, though. Them joints is tight. It's a Vans collab yeah. with a, with Mr. Potato Head. I don't know what to tell you. Them mm-hmm. joints is tight, mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. Fear of God basketball uh, coming out again, I guess, or new colorway. Well, it's or? the Indiana and Miami pack. Mm-hmm. Did any of the players actually wear in the tournament? Or? I saw Indiana them wear, but they didn't make the tournament. And Miami didn't either. <laughs> years on yeah, I saw them wearing them, though. Hey, they picked the wrong teams. But, I like the, uh, but, I like the runner. I like the all of them. is transferring, huh? supposedly, so we're going to see. Man, and not to the right NBA there. either. Well, I guess that means LeBron going to be on the move then. <laughs> because uh, him being in California is partly the reason why you stay with the Lakers. So. Yeah, transfer to UCLA. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> They hey, might be getting a new head coach too. Who UCLA? Well, they keep on saying Cronin's gonna leave. He's been he sucked there. Yeah. Uh, All these fear of God just fired at me. That eighty six high is fire. Uh, it's fire, though. The low that looks like that one is fire, but huh? or mid or whatever it technically is. Uh, uh-huh. Ant Man, Georgia Red Clay. Um, I mean that's the one he did the dunk in, so I may cop. Don't do that. <laughs> New Balance 1500, made in England, 35th anniversary. Fire. He skipped Shits that on purpose. Uh, yeah, he did. No, I didn't skip it on purpose. Yeah, I just figured did. that was just a regular release. I, it was 35th anniversary, a special one. I, I feel like they call every one of them. I know. Something. They, they, <laughs> they, they, they really do. Too. Am I not wrong? <laughs> I mean, I'm a New Balance is like They're 100 right. years old. Those are for eyebrows, 35th I, anniversary. I, I mean, Look, 1500 is one of the greatest models of all time period. to me. But you know what's funny is with A6 and New Balance, we don't treat them like we do Jordans. Like... Like, we don't go like, I no longer like this model anymore. 
Like, you either like a New Balance model right off the bat, and then it stays that way. Well, like, because they don't... Bas- they don't this, 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 this word's going to sound bad, but they don't bastardize the shoe. That's why. Like, yeah, they do. Nah. Because, like, 998s, 997s, do, like, 550s. They don't do, like, high. hybrids and crazy colors and whatnot. New Balance is pretty muted no, conservative I mean, for the most New part. New Balance does, but it's never it's never anything crazy. Like, they had the, like, what, 991.5? They had, like, 997.5s. Like, they do stuff like that, but it's never Yeah, it's, it's, not, never ba- it's not bastardization. Crazy. Yeah, but, like... We all loved 11s at one point, and now we're like, oh, no, 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 no. We like them. They cool. It's still an 11, but we're like, no. I don't, I don't have a New Balance model for myself. I mean, I it's loved shiny them. patent leather. It's different. I know mm-hmm. that, but like, still, it's more the model than the patent leather. The patent leather doesn't bother me on an nah, 11. It's the shoe that, itself nah. that bothers me. But I think runners are a little easier to... Oh, sorry. To age me. to translate an age. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I, I've I've been in the video from Taiwan. Yeah, that shit is crazy. I, was about to I say just that early, oh, I sent that one to you guys. But okay, um, I only seen the thing from like it said thirty five minutes ago, so I figured none of y'all saw it yet. Yeah, scroll up. But like, if I don't like a New Balance, I don't ever like the New Balance. Like, I don't ever be like, oh, this colorway makes it better. Sometimes you could get that with other shoes, but like, I love nine nine eights. I don't think my I don't see myself ever going like oh, I'm done with nine nine eights. I don't like that model no more. I, I, I think it's always stuff sure. that'll be wearable though. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Like you go from like a basketball shoe trying to wear it casually with big jeans like back in the nineties and two thousands. Like yeah, but fa- fashion. I, I think New Balances allow for it to adapt to any fashion that changes. I agree, but Air Max ones and stuff we've treated. I have Air Max nineties, ninety fives. Like we've treated that way. We'll be like, oh, I don't mess with these no more. And we were those characters. I don't know. I, well, I don't it's know. also, I mean, 95s are big. Like, 97s are, are big. And no, like 15, 97s? I think a little bit. Uh. I just mean, like, a little bulkier, right? But, like, New Balance it doesn't really have that. Like, the 1500 is, like, size-wise, like, comparable to a 998. It's comparable to I think we give uh, New Balance a lot of grace at times. Uh, and A6. Uh, George don't like, you don't like, you like July, July 5 seals? Of course. Wearing them. Oh, okay. I was on my list. Okay. Okay. I'm just, just the one on your foot. Asking a question. I've been wearing them a lot lately. Actually, oh, I mean, yeah. I don't wear stuff because it's in boxes at the top of the shelf. And but then when I get it out and it sits by the front door, I end up wearing a lot. So that's mm. how I end up wearing stuff. Like if I'll I'll just leave stuff out, and then like that's what I'm just like like I wore earlier to my lunch. I went to, I wore gold bullets just because they were still sitting out. And so, until I start putting stuff back away, and then I'm like, oh, grab, now what am I going to grab? Yeah, like for my trip Friday, I already dug out every single thing that I might want to take. Because if I don't, I'll just end up taking the one or two things that are out. A pair of like, hands and pair of But that's how we get you out of your shoes. Uh, I'm going to go to your house, George, and put everything by the front door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else come out, George? You put those uh, uh, mochas, the mocha ones. Yeah, up. we can put mocha ones at the yeah, front door and Grinches, all the pink at, and Grinches. <laughs> <laughs> Grinches and mocha ones at the front door. Pink laces on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> Just put about two thousand dollars at the front door. <laughs> uh, Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent Three Fire. I saw a video where somebody like bounced it. Yeah, they I took saw the that too. I that joint flew, and I was like, "Fam, if those can do that, I'll be outside running." Now. If I see these in Miami at any store, I'm gonna buy them. They might be illegal, like in the Olympics or something. I need to know. I was looking at comments on that because I, I was trying to see that because like that seems like such an advantage, and like racers were saying like. This would actually end up hurting your foot in the long run just because, like, the way it's bending and your foot's not supposed to bend that way or well, something. I did look at it and I go, like, how far do you really got to bend your foot for it to throw you like that? Like, because <laughs> I was like, that's a bend. But there are shoes that are illegal in marathons, right? Yeah. Yes. I, if I see those joints Funny. in Miami, I'm copping for certain. Though. You ain't paying full price for that. Well, what's full price retail on it? Let me see. Two, two something. Three, yeah, I was gonna say probably three hundred. Oh yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much all them joints like that cost. See, the plug need to get stuff like I don't know, like, you know. Probably could, but I think the we one that's not that the like stuff. this other one. This says women's, but I would imagine they make it in men's too. But that one that's not the specific like, you know, the power the line yeah, run yeah. shoe. That's got to be cheaper. It's a whole pack. I'd buy that well, one. This instead. one right here. It says women's, but like that one right there is not the like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. run a marathon. It's a pack. There's like three or four of them or something or like that. What else you got? Tatum 2, Vortex. Suck. Vortex. Uh, Celtics playoffs. Uh, 
Nocta, Hot Step 2, Total Orange. Got to be one of the worst shoes I've ever seen in my entire life. Damn, suck. Pro- probably will be on 2024. Rico, what list. you about to say? Top suck list. Rico. I think they're fine. Lord I have mercy. I have no gauge of what you like or don't like. I don't understand how you... Two of his favorite teams are orange. Like, wait, wait, I mean, that's the only thing. Don't... That could no, be no, the no, only no. connection. No, 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 no. But I don't understand how you liked Blade Runner, like... Margello, whatever they were. And man, we like y'all this. get over that, no, fam. No, we won't. That we was that was never will. that was a novelty cop, dude. That was a, I had a, I sold her some stuff and you I can't cop. This is a novelty, fam. That joint I is. I think it's fine. Drake uh, is the worst I've dressed seen, rapper in the history of rap, and I don't care what nobody says. I've seen worse sneakers. He is top ten worst dressed, dead or alive. I just don't like that. <laughs> I just don't like that model. <laughs> Dead or alive is funny. He can't pick. I'm assuming Drake has say. He can't pick colors. Now the the glide one that looked like the Jason kid. You see him in public on foot. You go, all right, they okay. They ain't too bad. But uh, what else you got? Uh, so like you said, there's that Zoomex or whatever Alpha Fly Vapor Fly pack. Now maybe I could afford that one. Yeah. So that's that's a men's version. Yeah. You should cop that one. That one looks better anyways. You ain't gonna run a hour 59 marathon in it but no i just need to walk <laughs> with the kids uh pat a converse pack the low one actually looks kind of nice i thought it was a dunk at first i was like what am i looking at here mm. <laughs> the weapon uh weapon lows yeah and Looking then cool. the greatest player in nba history scoot scooterson <laughs> <laughs> scoot, scoot, scoot. Scoot, scooterson got an uh his second shoe coming out uh, nba 2k Them collab just pull his shoe <laughs> Bam. He got an NBA 2K shot shoe. His rating is like 41. Negative. Yeah, shot <laughs> meter should be negative. Huh? Fam, I, I went to Scottsdale Mall Monday maybe, and I went to House of Hoops, and they had the Scoot Hendersons up there. Them <laughs> joints suck in hand. The pinks? Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, really? They suck. They had the Georgia Peach and the Northern Lights on the pink one in there. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to Scoot Henderson, though, man. That Georgia one sucks? It sucks. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> We ordered it too. Thank God it didn't come. Maybe that's why he's so <laughs> whack. He needs. He's like Lamelo. He needs to get away from that brand and get his own. Like stop wearing something else and wear Nike or whatever. I mean, I know it's not the same thing. It's not a big baller brand shoe, but I mean, <laughs> okay. damn. Uh, there's also another Puma coming out with the same NBA 2K pack. That's up your alley, a Clyde Low. You love saying that, that I don't cool. own one Clyde. You, Every you time you come to, I own Clyde. zero you, Clyde. You own a lot of stuff that looks like that. Huh? Now, the homie Rick, shout out to Rick, got a bunch of Puma stuff waiting for me, that, but he won't ship it, so I don't know. Why he's not shipping it? Well, because he said he going to give me the price on shipping. I mean, it's all samples, so. Mm. But uh, I got too much stuff. Air Max 95. Uh, Atlanta TV celebration shoe. Oh, suck. <laughs> Is that what they are? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, Hawks. Uh, let me not skip the ASIC so Rico doesn't get upset. GT2160 Cream Bamboo. People love that 2160 model, and yeah. I'm not mad at that model. Like, I, I like it, but people hold it in very high regard. We yeah, sell that at Sports Authority. Uh uh-uh. uh. Sell that sports authority ten years ago. <laughs> well, I don't know what milk makeup is. Milk makeup, vegan uh, Reebok classic, mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. or other. Sydney Sweeney suits. Gross. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, Lamelo injured per- in perpetuity. <laughs> MB three. I mean, that looks like. That looks like that Jurassic isn't Park. There a, I was going to say, isn't there a Transformer <laughs> named Spark or something? Like, Oh, no. Yeah. They was like trying to get the all oh, Spark. They have to know that. Yeah. But, like, yeah. I know that. But oh. The well, his, who? his new one coming out, it <clears throat> looks like the Jurassic Park Jeep. Bro, that new one. I guess I, I hit up the homie that works for, uh, and for Puma, and he was like, they're just keeping the same shape. Like, that shape. I guess it's smart. Like, do you go with the same shape that's fire? Like, it's not a whack shape. Not based off his ankle injuries. <laughs> he gonna have to go to Under Armour <laughs> uh, because whatever his ankle problems is, Steph Curry had them same problems yeah. early on. He gonna have to switch it up. Who is Cam Hicks? Uh, ain't he like inside linebacker for the Dolphins? Yeah, is he a football player? <laughs> Cam uh, Hicks? Are you Hicks? saying Jordan Hicks? Cam Hicks, uh, Jordan Hicks. Reebok collab. I don't know. Uh, uh, women's Jordan Four Sulfur. Now hold on. Now <laughs> did we get them Sulfur? <laughs> did we? I don't know. If I mean, I didn't. So. I know I didn't. Are you sure? Oh, he's well, a I'm pretty sure guy. the biggest size is a 12. Oh, because so. them softwares is kind of fire. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Though. He's a photographer. But every shoe from now on should have, what was the one that a had super fire materials, though? Like the top threes? What was the Jordan 4 that 
Top so three wasn't that what it was called? Right? Jordan Four Top Three, and it was like the mm-hmm. three like the, no the what like, does? They were what does? Is that what it was? That's what they're called okay. what does? Yeah, same concept. Jordan though, right? was the top three. These vivid. Yeah, sulfurs, I just figured it was man. based on that. Off that. I hope I ordered a pair. All right. Uh, <laughs> Adidas <laughs> creators. <laughs> Crazy Infinity Sunshine. They suck. Nah, 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 nah. No, don't nah, 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 nah. That Y'all sucks. think those suck for yeah. real? Joint looks like Which a ones? banana. Yeah. The, like they look more the wearable updated than the, Kobe than oh. the Kobe ones. Damn. They look, yeah. they look, look they like okay. A actual but. banana, like the banana you ride in the ocean. Well, now, if you, <laughs> <laughs> now if you don't like the color, fine. But the shoe yeah. is is get, is get out of here. Is okay. Nah. Skip Book Haven. Is that see through swoosh? Is that what that is? No, nah, it's like a gradiated brown like something. If you look at the pictures on Manor's website, it looks like it's see-through. <laughs> it's like dog yeah. hair or something. It's, it's after his dog. Like, it's something. No, it, I think it's like, name? I don't think it's see-through. I think it's like It's just gradiated. It's something. Is that on their page? Yeah, it's on. Oh, yeah, cause it's, I could have sworn it. it looks like you've seen through the shoe. No. Mm-hmm. Seen through mm-hmm. the side. I think you see your I mean, it's self. better. It's yeah, better. It's like reflective. <laughs> it's yeah. better that it's not see-through. I hope it's not, but. I mean, I don't uh, want that one. That one I'm, I'm not going to say you. it sucks, but no thanks. Whatever black they used on that, because that joint is black. <laughs> like <laughs> J-Wild black. That's in the Pantheon. It's nah, the, uh, not even J-Wild blacks the, is this black. In the, uh, no, you know when it looks color, black color and it's like, almost like purple? Like, or these? Gray? No, no, that, that black though where it's Oh, so yeah, black, yeah, that bad. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. Like these joints is... Either the materials are stupid quality on these, but these joints are black. black but it's funny if you look at his <laughs> dog. Is woke. If you look at his dog, <laughs> the dog look like that too. I saw so it's kind of fire. Of dog. <laughs> like, them joints is super black. <laughs> I will be copying. Uh, uh, footscape. Me too. Footscape woven. Yeah. No one on the planet should. Woo! Need what do you mean? Those copping? Huh? Well, those are unreal. No, I mean, no, I ain't no, copping, no. but like, that's not disrespecting no, 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 you misunderstand what I'm saying. If you like those, that shoe you probably already have pair like a oh. bunch of pairs of it right uh, they all I look do the not, same actually it's not like with the footscapes you're getting but, like a bunch of different uh, new the, model I'll, like the, you're not getting like footscape two nah, footscape the, the three mid, footscape four you know like, <laughs> like you getting the same model every single time nah, you don't the, need the other one the midsole's different fam person don't do that <laughs> there's it. a difference no Yes, there is a difference. I got a woven uh, somewhere. Yes, you probably have that already, and if you do, I the do colors on the woven is probably similar to what you already have. Nah, nah, the so one that no, I got I'm is not be saying true. The shoe sucks. I'm saying like that would be like just buying black and white dunks over and over and over again. It looks like the same shoe. I got be true nah. woven, so See, mine are rainbow. The chuckas, the midsole is different though. Yeah, but it ain't different enough to where it matters. The whole upper of the shoe is the same. Now nah. that. Upper is a different color, so if you had both of those, then I get it. But if you like wovens, this shoe, the footscape, you probably already have this. So it's like, what's the point? If y'all buying these, buy the right size, too, because if you buy the wrong size, they'd be too big. Uh, Book, uh, go for a hike, fire. Hey, I don't like them. I need them. These I know everybody loves them. I think that's what I was talking about, was this colorway, because... This colorway is what? I don't, I don't really like them. Oh my god! That's like a that's like one of the most unique. I've never seen that color on a shoe like that before. I mean, yes, we have. I don't know if it's we we've it's seen undefeated green and orange colorways all the time. No, 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 no. no. That yes, green, yes, yes, that yes, green is yes. not undefeated green. <laughs> sea foam, fine. All right, we've seen it before. It a I feel like it's green. been used on something. It looks familiar, mm-hmm. but it's not like something you see every day. I don't care. And I don't like I'm all copying. the prints. Uh, whether if I'm paying, I think, I think too Supreme. Many it, it, Supreme did something that looks exactly like this. Mm-hmm. It was well, they had a yeah. color. Yeah, it was oh, yeah, yeah. I know it what you're talking about. Uh, I guess, but these right here, I'm paying day 214 now on goat. So hopefully on release day, if I don't no, get them on release out. day, they go down about one eighty, maybe one seventy. Listen, just Damn. go down to Trophy just... Room in Miami. Go, go get you a pair. See now that I'm, when I'm down there, I'm gonna look for them too. I'm gonna be down there that morning. I'm gonna be under on the beach. Get uh-huh. back door to Trophy Room. Pause. Going to hey, Miami. I mean, yeah, Diddy might mm-hmm. actually be there. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I don't know who a nine. There's Run. a lot of people with collabs I never heard Aline of. Bing. Aine, 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 Aine. Aine Bing. I have no idea. Is that Bing Crosby's daughter? Who is that? I have no idea who that is. I uh, mean, Bing does uh does women's uh like 
Pickleball? Loungewear. <laughs> <laughs> loungewear. How do well, you know this stuff? Whoever she Wait. is, she I has have a, a white fiance. A re- of course I know this a stuff. A Reebok collab of, of three shoes for whatever reason. They all suck, so I don't understand it. The one, the high looks like it oh. should be in the aerobics class. Hold on. They don't, don't suck. Slide. Oh, they suck. <laughs> None of these shoes suck. These shoes the were out when we were kids. Good. They just, what are they doing? Making them now. They're all, right. Which, which means they suck. They yeah, are last six from 30 years ago. They suck now. All right. Terminator sucks. It's the same color as Rico's Dunks. He opened that box. White so, Malachite. Uh, I'm not even going to read that New Balance because it's irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> the next one, or pink, that one's decent. 2002. Sucks. R. Yeah, you hate If your model. 2002 ain't a protection pack, don't come to my <laughs> block with that. <laughs> yeah. Don't come with no regular standard don't protect- spin 2002 pack. R. Uh, women's Suburbs Jordan 1, so high OG, all chrome. Now, we could have got these ones. These ones is all right to me. No, I'm sorry. No, they're the not. Chrome? I'm not mad at these chrome ones. I though. mean, fam, you trying to be the tin man for Halloween? Though? I don't know what I would do with them, but I ain't mad at them Halloween joints. Halloween costume. That's them, it. Them joints is I. Mad Max. They suck. We said Mad Kawhi. Max. We said Kawhi suck. Oh, we got to keep so. the same energy, though. Know, they suck. That was way different. Why is it different? Because it was right. all patent leather. So what? They these ain't patent leather. They suck. All right. Kobe, Crazy 2, KB Away. Mm-hmm. Don't know why we need it, but. We I mean, not. look, I pooped in those. Poop. If I ain't got no I, Kobe. I, too. You, you pooped. I pooped in those, you pervert. If it I ain't got. Like you said, I heard that too. If I don't got the Kobe number 8 and the KB 8 and all that on my Adidas, Kobe's, you can keep every single one of them. <laughs> every single one of them. All right. Uh, this pack is up Rico's Alley, Dungeons and Dragons, Chuck Taylor highs. I have level. never played D and D. and D. If any listeners are in the valley and are trying to get a campaign going, I want to be a part of it. <laughs> campaign? Yeah, is it, I thought it was a board game. It is a board game. Yeah. Oh, but you have campaigns. Like you have to yeah, create you... your character and you have to go through the book, and that's like you know a fucking whole have? thing. You know shut up. I, oh, Pef, right? Yeah, I thought you had to play it in person with other people. You do have to play it in person with no, other people. No, you can do it online. Well, no, I'm saying, online. you know That's what I mean, black. like the like non-online, like the 20-year-ago version of the game. I mean, yeah. only people I know that play Dungeons & Dragons are the kids on Stranger, Stranger Things. things. Uh, That's the only people. I... Uh, Clot, I don't know what Clot's doing. This yeah. looks like... This no, these like, are fire. Ooh, or not. Huh? The white, the white one was fire too. The white pair. What's oh. the, uh, what's the one that does all those joke shoes? Mischief? No, this it don't do like that. Mischief, no, mischief it shoe. don't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it, now if you want to say like a golf cleat, that's fine. That's on you. Mischief. But them joints is okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Mischief the, golf. The white one. Mischief. The white one. Golf, like, no. golf uh, <laughs> yeah. d- department. What's it called? Division. Golf division. The golf mischief. division of mischief. <laughs> uh, KD seventeen fire to me. I'm not that buying it at full price, but this fire to me. Them is whack. They uh, look like marshmallows. Sunrise, I guess. That ain't what the sunrise look like in Arizona. <laughs> Very good. Um, <laughs> a lot of golf stuff that we don't care about. Good Lord. Uh, Jordan 5 sale. No. Nope. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, we ain't buying it. Kobe I'm 6. I'm not buying it. Kobe 6 bad. Italian Pro Tro. Italian Camel. I want that. Yeah. What? Them uh, yeah. Suck. Huh? No, nah, I don't do that. Fam. I you mean, what in Italy you just don't go? like sixes. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Yeah, you don't like I'm okay with like sixes. Nah, you're not. But this camo one, this camo one was whack when it first came out. No. Like, what are y'all talking about? Fam, Italy has its own camo? Yeah. Like, Italy. <laughs> country has their own camo. Fam, Italy. You're a fashion Italy, camo? Italy, hold that. on. Italy ain't been in a war since, like, what, 1550? Fam, what? That don't mean they don't have a camo. Italy they, you was, can still have a camo whoa, whoa, and not be on. at wartime. Italy was Germany's biggest ally in World War II. What are you talking about? Oh, they were in World War II. You're <laughs> like, right. You heard of Mussolini? Yeah, but then they get whooped, though. Of course they yeah, did. Yeah, they got whooped up. Uh, they whacked. Huh? <laughs> World War II now? Fam, <laughs> this Kobe 6 George is, is whack. Somebody know, sent this. On. Somebody <laughs> DM'd me this, and I was like, fam, nobody knew what to do with this camo Kobe back then, and nobody definitely don't know what to do with this camo Kobe now. What are you about to do with this camo Kobe, George? It's fire. Did we order him? I, I hope so. I don't think we can oh, order. that's fire. I don't think we can order Kobe's. I mean, we, we can. We did. Well, we can. Because we ordered the blue one right here. It doesn't matter because they, they don't show up. So. Fam, that mm. camo one is whack. That's fire. fire. Um, the blue Philly one super sucks, but it's a oh, Kobe my 4. Oh, my God. Like, you know, whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear it. Fam, it looks like an all-star game. If 
this may be the first time I will not try for any of these Kobe's. This is a whole week of Kobe's I will not try for. <laughs> the Venice Beach is good too. Fam, if Kobe you don't Venice stop. Beach. No. In hand, the Venice Beach looks much better than it does in pictures. Yeah. But it sucks. I don't know. My homie Chris got him. Shout out to Chris. It looked fire on him. I ain't mad at him. But these suck. These are our retros right now. Italian camo <laughs> from World War II. <laughs> Uh, Philadelphia All Star Game, whatever that's supposed to be, and then Venice Beach. What's Venice Beach is Venice Italian Beach don't even look Venice like that. Beach are probably two of the better retros oh, that we've gotten. That's not not even close. close. I don't know why you it's not Grinches. Camo. Those are nice. Yeah, I like them. Fam, huh? <laughs> what? And you know I love Camo. I just don't uh, understand right. why that's the one you chose to hate. I on. hate like, that hate joint. on the Philly uh, one, I get it because the way they color block. Fam, it goofy, I have always hated this. Uh, Italy is probably what eight and three in wars. <laughs> <laughs> eight and three is pretty good. Stop eight and three asso- is pretty good. Stop associating Camo with wars. <laughs> uh, it's okay. This joint's called Italian Camo. It's specifically for Italy's military. That could mean that, fam. All the fashion houses in Italy, it they probably designed Italians war outfits. That's yeah, why. that's why they don't they're not that good at war. <laughs> they trying to be cute. <laughs> they they get number one at marching though. Got that. Louis Vuitton. Them, them <laughs> Louis Vuitton camel, Gucci camel at war. <laughs> now hold on now. You go to war wearing Gucci uniform, right? I may be kind of fired. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Now that we now that we talking about it, do your whole military laced in Gucci marching? Come on, fam. <laughs> Throw, throw the, throw the op- opposition off. Throw the no, ops hey, off. Hey, but then they'll be like, hey, if we kill those motherfuckers, we can steal that shit. <laughs> Facts, huh? Like, that's, how, that's how Louis Vuitton. I think they were still in the King's Louis <laughs> trunks and stuff. They're out of control. All right. right. Harden, uh, Volume 8, Flamingo Pink. <laughs> <laughs> they look like Floridians. Uh, remember Floridian LeBron? Of course I yes. do. Yeah. Bam. I remember I ran out of one line. What line were we in? And I ran of House of Hoops to get Floridians. Yeah, but what, what were we waiting for? White uh, cement threes? Fours, fours? Or probably. Yeah, pr- it probably was uh, Nick's Cal fours. fours? Or Cavs. Cavs fours. I don't know why I say Nick's, but yeah. I feel like, like every Knicks. time we were standing in front of Al Sheikah, it was for a four. Bro. Damn, those fours smelled Insane, but they do. were fire. And them joints are one of the most underrated sneakers yep. of all time. Correct. No, I feel like we disrespected them by selling those. And I had them Y'all twice. Sold them? I traded my That's I it. traded my my calf for for yeah. a pair of a. Uh, I sold them a long time ago, like maybe a year or six months after I got them. Fam, they smell like oil chic basements. Uh, oh my! I God. traded mine for a scoring champion KD four. That's what wow. I traded. Them wow. For. Yeah. Uh, loser. Do you have those still? Duh. Candy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I ever had them, really. I think I looked them in the car and went, God, what did I do? I don't know what happened to them. Uh, I know Gregory's going to hate on these because he already has. Jackie Robinson, Air Max One, Big Bubbles. I need them. Disrespectful. <laughs> them joints suck. Uh. Big Bubble Air Maxes are fucking awful. <laughs> Not this I one. bought some for Cortez. They high. Uh. Not this one. This one sucks too. It's you okay, George. Them. Like I know you don't want to say they you suck, smoking, you know, fire. but I'll give you a pass. You can say they no, suck. Fire. <laughs> uh, this this the shoe you need for Dallas Cowboy football games. Uh, Air Max DN Hyper Blue. That colorway sucks. <laughs> I feel like I'm overusing yeah. the word "sucks" today. Bro. LeBron made them look fire. I'm not even now. Hold on, I do like the DN model. I ain't mad at it. Oh, when no joints hit, hit the outlet, you like the DN up. When no, no did it up. Okay, mm. that's ND. <laughs> 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 These the models okay. Now look, yes, you are right. LeBron made them look fire, but LeBron makes a lot of stuff look fire that we went. That's why I we said, go don't about. influence me, tall man. <laughs> <laughs> You're tall enough though. Fam, I'm not six seven, whatever he is. Yeah, but you tall and got a lot of body though. Six, nine. <laughs> I'm short. Bro. I'm short and I'm stocky. My shoulders wide. Sometimes my booty big. Like some people <laughs> odd on me though. <laughs> You got it. Me and Rico, we have to be careful, though. Got a lot of body. <laughs> I'm like, we got to be careful when we put stuff on. We look crazy, though. But you don't take advantage of That's of... it. Next one is. All right, uh, go all the way to the 15th. That is the 15th. Oh, we're at like the 20th. Oh, uh, I see a cleat right here. What is oh, this? Man, we ain't saying cleats up. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. That's a Jackie Robinson cleat. I'm no, now, that's fire. No, it's not. Jackie I have Robinson no idea what Those are about. fire. This Jackie Robinson cleat is way better than an Air Max 1. I don't know what you're talking about. There was no Jackie Robinson cleat on my screen. Look at this. Are you good? Look at that. That's Mike Trout plays in that, too. 
Fam, I thought that was Tiger Woods Golf 7. <laughs> ain't reading golf that. Golf 7. <laughs> ain't reading that nonsense. Uh, you're not even with them anymore. Appreciate everybody who likes to share this podcast. Like I said, we're doing top 10 sneakers that we own. As of right now, we would never sell and keep forever to us. I'm going to keep adding to that title every time we do it. Air Max Day. Anybody try for anything on Air Max Day? No, the absolutely Volts? not. None of it? Not even the Blue Volts? No. But they're fire. They're just fire. Yeah. I just didn't need them. Oh, really? I didn't look at that and thought that. I tried for the blue ones and obviously didn't get them. I, I thought about trying for those Oregon ones, but I didn't know. I thought they were sitting. Like I didn't know how that worked. I told you they weren't sitting. <laughs> yes, but like after I already thought to myself they were sitting, then you told me that they were sitting. Like People like were sending me links that I was talking to Rick, and Rick was like, oh, no, no, I'm debating. And I'm like, yeah, me too. I'm like 220, and they just sitting on here? But I didn't know they were numbered like that. 25. Yeah. Look, I'll tell you this. Air Max Day, I did appreciate and I did like seeing a lot of people get seated pairs that I looked at their accounts and it had like 60 followers. Like they weren't like big people. Yeah. That's what I've always said I wanted to see from Nike and stuff like that. Man, mm -hmm. cool. You want to give Kais a pair? Cool. You want to give whomever else pairs that do sneaker stuff now? Whatever. But like I saw a ton of cats. I was on Twitter like, wait a minute, who is this? I clicked this stuff, 18 followers. Oh, okay, like, cool. You reaching out to yeah. some, like, smaller cats and getting some smaller cats opportunity. Now, I will say this about Air Max Day. I don't know at what point. When are we all going to be able to participate in a day? Like, I don't know why we can't get blue Air Max ones that are painted blue on the vault. Like, uh, Yeah. Uh, what are we talking about here? Like, and if they do bring it back, they're going to have the stupid big bubble. What's wrong with the big bubble? The big bubble. It's not good, though. I just think it's its too much. It's too much on the midsole. I think it looks goofy. It does change the shape a bit. Because like I said, Cortez got them, and I was What's like, the shape over here? The, yeah, That's I right. will say the back looks a little bigger and the mm -hmm. front looks a little smaller, but and they are right. Uh, but yeah, I did like seeing people get seated pairs that like typically are big YouTube people or whatever, they social people. Huh? Well, whatever, man. Oh, now I will say something. I'm not gonna talk about it on here, because I told somebody that I, I promised him that I wouldn't. But I saw something I did not like. All right, on there about this. I'm not gonna say it. All right, but I saw something I did not like. And honestly, if they listening to this and they hear, I'm talking about you. You owe me an apology too. Huh? They owe me an apology because <laughs> huh? they called me names. All right, and then did the same thing. Oh. Called me names. All right. But God bless, man. We do. Yeah. God we bless. God bless. Um, anything else on Air Max Day? Or was that just pretty much in and out? Why was, why, I'm sorry. Does anybody know why Nike sells stuff on GOAT? Or what is that? I, uh, I was so confused about that. And it's not the first time. Remember they did like Jordan 14s or Jordan 2s or something, <clears throat> Oregon? What, what, is that got like I a, think it's just an Oregon thing. I think. Oregon just sends pairs to GOAT? Oh, so it's not a Nike thing? Oregon Nike thing? Are, are, we gonna, are you going to say something or are you going to have me guessing? Are you not? I, I mean, I don't know. Oh, I thought you signed so something. So I could. <laughs> no, let me see. I thought you signed an agreement or something. It's over there nodding. <laughs> I'm like, because isn't that like a. Well, I guess if you sell them for retail, I guess it wouldn't be a conflict of interest. Which one was thing. retail? They were 220. 225. So. And did they sit? No, oh, they no, were was gone. They were only two hundred twenty-five oh, okay. pairs. See, so everything's just releasing exclusively on Goat, and I do not know why. And they're only like four hundred. I mean, four hundred, yeah, four hundred dollars for a numbered pair is pretty cheap because a numbered Booker. How many Bookers were there? Fifty, five hundred, five hundred Booker. You yeah. see how much like Booker? Three thousand dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, my yeah. gosh! Uh, like they out of control with that. Uh, then you want to get them for about eight hundred, maybe nine. I right, but that's that that might, is more than Travis Scott's. That might be a Grail. That might be a grail? No, you could spend two bands. Nah. That's not a grail? Nah. That's, uh, hold a on future, gra future grail? I mean, we're talking about it because they just released now, but think about it in I'm five not years. saying that, like, because they just came out. I'm saying, like, now look, maybe for you it's different. Once I, they get to 1,000. I was talking about for me. Oh, okay. Once it gets to 1,000, it's unobtainable for me because I'm not paying 1,000. So then I go, like, it's not a grill. I feel like a grill is something... Actually, I have no idea. Anymore. I feel like I, I don't know. Living in Phoenix, they could be accessible eventually. I feel like well, I honestly thought they would have been came out again well, already. Yeah. I thought that. Like I was like, oh, five hundred just that week. They'll be they'll be out, and that seems to be it. Yep. So who knows, George? You still got a grill or anything? A grill? Yeah. I mean that. 
the that would still qualify right there, but, but you probably own them. the what? You own grills. You own them though. Oh, you mean something like, I don't I'm sorry, have? yeah. Something oh, that you ain't got. I thought you just meant like a, the number one shoe of all time or whatever. No. Um Rust pinks. I mean, it still would be. <laughs> mm-hmm. It probably would be. <laughs> I guess Union One High. I guess. I mean, they're oh, half. They're half oh, price oh. of what they used to be. But yeah. I'm not spending that on a shoe anymore. So what I'm they go now? Like they're like thousand. seven, eight hundred. Oh man. Yeah, gonna, yeah, for my size, size probably like a oh, thousand. Oh, so they, but when I was looking before, much? they were like twenty two <laughs> to twenty five. Like seven, yeah. eight thousand. I mean, seven, eight hundred. That's yeah, it. Yeah, probably think, for his size. Yeah, I'm about to go look. Either archive or rerun. Like put up a pair, and it was. So like you, so how does a firm work? <laughs> so do you click here? Hey, call Mac. <laughs> yeah, let me hit up Mac yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah. Hit Mac up and say, what, "Yo, what are the, uh, can I use your settings? code? Yeah, can wife. I use your code, <laughs> Mac, for ten percent off your firm?" <laughs> All right, so your, your wife about to hit you or... up. No, you about to go on vacation? <laughs> talk about you a firm in sneakers? Oh, shit, hit you. Well, she taking cruise to Disneyland while we be in Miami. Yeah, I found a size ten was on rerun for seven fifty. So like, what? Yeah. Was that black or blue? The black. Used? What? Probably. I mean, there's no box. Oh. Okay, so in my size, the black oh, ones. No, man. Last sale was eleven hundred. In my size, and the black ones, the blue one was twelve hundred. Last sale. <sighs> it's getting there. It's getting there. Seven hundred is there. right there. I could sell some shit. I could sell a bunch of mm-hmm. nonsense. Uh, like I got a, I got about at least a good nineteen DS dunks in there. <laughs> like. I think I could you can buy gather. That with hats. I think I can gather about seven hundred. <laughs> I think uh, sixty pair of pair of dunks. Not because my dunks don't go for nothing. But you can s- sell some hats. True. Do people still buy hats now? I don't know. I have no idea. People still buy hat pins because I, I think uh, wars of them. You sh- hey, when I was selling mine, you should have jumped I should have did it, too, when you did it. I, d- I couldn't pull the trigger. I'm like, man, they crazy. They selling their pins. They ain't going to have them. I don't even wear them joints, huh? <laughs> exactly. Where the hat pin is kind of lame, huh? I don't know where any of my hat pins If the hat pin is on the hat, I won't take it off, but I'm not yeah. putting one on. But. Yeah. Agree. Man, people are paying $25 for those pins. Are it's you? crazy. Damn. I was selling those like. <sighs> Suck my. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your twenty five dollars and leave me alone. I was huh? selling the you know, the regular <laughs> silver hat club ones. <laughs> I'd sell. I put like five into like a one sale, and it'd be like fifteen bucks. I'm like, you did a bulk sale. <laughs> yeah. Some man asked me at the card show, like, "Is that a strawberry? Whatever." And I was like, yeah, "Oh, the hat!" <laughs> <laughs> at first, I looked at him like, "What are you talking about? Is that the strawberries the and show? cream?" And I don't I even like, know the name of hats like, anymore. Oh, okay. you mean the hat? I was like, yeah, I got this one and the other one. <laughs> I don't even know lemonade. Like, That's all I can think of. I don't, what is, I don't know what this is. Probably hike pack. Damn. I, I What's your that store in New York still exists? That's New Jersey. Oh, this the, what is it? Isn't that Locker Room of Downey? No, this is uh, uh, Mag Park. Uh, oh, did, Magnolia Park. Magnolia Park yeah, did a uh, pre order. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about Lincoln Park. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got all the ones that Mag Park did. Them joints was fire. It took forever to get, but them joints is stupid fire. I mean, I got the egg, the Matt egg pin. Best friends with the owner, man. So yeah, I'll that's why I did it. Um, the green eggs and ham pins. I got them berries. Yeah, a lot for those. I got lemonade. Remember when they made the the watermelon carpet? I got you watermelons. Yeah. I got all kind of pins in that drawer. Uh, like I may be lit, you know, so I may get unions next week. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to Flight Club Miami too. So if Flight Club Miami got them for seven hundred. They uh, they're not gonna have them for seven hundred. <laughs> It'd be like three thousand. <laughs> I didn't oh, even know yeah, Flight Club. I didn't know Flight Club was in Miami. A lot of those places mm-hmm. haven't quite caught on yet. Yeah. That the, <laughs> I don't I was, think Flight Club has ever caught I on. I was talking to Abe Never. about. I was talking to Abe about like the you know that story that came out that was like StockX now has a retail store. He said that stuff has existed for a long time actually, and no one really did a story about it. But he was like, well, the prices inside there are just the same prices as online, but no one comes in there and shops. The only thing they go there for is the drop the stuff they've sold off. Wait, That's so it. they have fees? What do you oh, mean? Yeah, do you got to pay the fees? Up? When you go into the store, when you buy them, do they charge? Uh, I probably just tax. I mean, we didn't talk about that, but he was like, it's the same. He just said it's the same price it is, as it is online. But Ma- I think imagine- he just means like the price on the shoe is like, mm. you know, the, what you see. Yeah, imagine like going in there and they try to charge you like all the six fees. The processing they- fees. <laughs> he yeah, said, yeah, "What's funny though is I'd slap 
I'd slap yeah. the hell out of everyone. He there. said what's funny, though, is they don't have a lot of inventory. So they'll put a shoe out, and they might only have, like, two, three sizes. And somebody will be like, do y'all have a 12? <laughs> like, no, nah, we only got eight, yeah. 11. <laughs> That's how they get you. Then they'll, pull the, that, kind of then they'll charge all the fees. <laughs> then they'll charge all the fees to ship it there. Yeah. <laughs> That's so stupid. Y'all started a retail shop and got, have no inventory. <laughs> yeah, like what That's in the world? Dumb, man. Um, what's his real name? Shay Gilchrist Alexander. Whatever. Damn, that don't man. don't do that. No. Shay Kil- Gilchrist. Yeah, show the MVP Kid some Gilchrist? respect, Mr. Aura. MVP. Put some respect. Don't do that, name. Mr. Aura. I mean, who else gonna win? Ant Man. No. Them, I give it to Ant Man. OKC and Oh, uh, you know what? In Minnesota, okay, like one and two or okay, you're like right. So I, 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 I would down to three now. I would. I, uh, Thunder's Thunder's number one. Let me look. Let me huh? look at the standings. It's Thunder, Denver, uh, Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. I thought uh, Denver and Wolves were tied. Yeah, Thunder's one. I mean, you're not. Yeah. Gonna okay. Lose no, no, you're SBA? right. Come okay, on. okay, that's fine. Unless you give it to Tatum, but I don't know what Tatum's numbers are. Fuck Tatum. <laughs> Tatum's numbers are worse than Brunson's, and Brunson's getting zero. Tatum got a fucking. Tatum has. I'm going Where to Tim. Tim has had a I mean, team on his roster his entire career. Tatum has been quite blessed to be on the Celtics. Like I think his rookie well, yeah, year they went to the Eastern Conference Finals. If like, he, I don't know what his numbers are, so admittedly, like but if, twenty-four but, and. But like, and I'm a huge goes, Tatum. Fan. If he goes for a year where he's like thirty and nine or thirty and eleven, you can't say he it's, don't get MVP because yeah, of but he's teammates. not. It's not he's happening not, this year. <laughs> Uh, like said, but they're the best record in they're the best record in basketball. I mean, yeah, but he's not. If there's a year you're gonna give it to Tatum, it would be this year. Like I wouldn't give it to best record in basketball, number one in the East. But like, guess what? The Suns had the best record two years ago, and everyone's like, "Well, they got so many people on their team, they can't." It's the same thing. Oh so my just god! Keep, keep SGA's PER is thirty two point six. I don't know that I've seen one that high. But maybe Jokic. He's like the only person Jokic. that gets in that territory. That's I, crazy for a guard. Yeah, SGA. Well, he he just, how many games does SGA play? I feel like I mean, he doesn't get hurt he's often. Shooting, shooting he's 30, out right six, now. Thirty-six yeah, and a half percent yeah, from yeah, three this year. Tonight. That's pretty good for him. For him, yeah. Well, but he doesn't shoot that many. According to the sneaker pages, he's a free agent soon. Oh boy, he's a free agent in September. He said go. He said fuck Converse. He's on Converse right now. So get out of there. How he may resign with them. Look, we've talked about it before on this podcast. Actually, you know, we talked about an episode that Johnny came on. Me and George talked to him. The one thing that matters the most to a professional athlete when it comes to stuff like this is what you can wear off the court. If he ain't, I'm sorry, I. He's a dress, one of them dress cats. You know, he puts, he put that that he he he, he gets fitted. All right, he wears a lot of Jordans, a lot of Dunks, a lot of Nike. <laughs> Like, you're not going to put yourself in a situation if you're that type of person that's that in the fashion where you're not going to be able to wear Jordan 1s and stuff like well, yeah, that. Yeah, but he might move from Converse to Jordan or Converse to Nike. Yeah, he may go yeah. from there to there. And isn't that's all owned by Nike that's anyway, all Converse, Converse and all that? Yeah, owned by Nike. Because with Converse, he was still wearing Jordans and all that stuff mm-hmm. off the court. So, can. like, yeah. it, you know, I feel to me it's more important for the athlete today on what they can wear off the court than on the court. Like, you'll find just you something you can hoop in. Especially, you know. like, everyone talks about – Everyone likes Shea because his aura. That's all they talk about. He's got that aura. Yeah, right it's just like him. Yeah. Like you know, he'll find himself a but basketball he talk. Hoop <laughs> Yeah, I, I I can't tell you if I've seen a Shea Gilgris interview, SGA interview. Like you got that video <laughs> dancing in that room. You ain't seen that. <laughs> I'm like, fam, where are you? I think Aver Johnny said that to me. Like, fam, where is he at? That has to be when he was in college. It's a college thing. It gotta be college or high school. He looks like he looks now though, which means he hasn't aged. But he's nah. in the room of. You gotta really look at his. You gotta really look at him. He kind of old in the face. Uh, I, don't I know. looked at him. I looked at him today, and I was like, man, like he look like he got dotted. Like his eye, he looked tired. <laughs> He looked sluggish. Well, I said he's out with a quadriceps injury. He's been out so for like a week. Maybe that's no, why. He played against the Nets. I mean, his face <laughs> old. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he hurt his quads. Got stressed out. You well, know what I was talking about the other day? Yeah, we were talking about like, you know, presidents go in office and like within oh, two age. years, some cats yeah. look like they age 20 years, yeah. but all these presidents live to 100. So something is happening <laughs> where it like ages you crazy, but then these cats still get like the like secret medical care to... Jimmy Carter is like 100. And he's been in hospice for like a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. He just won't Donald die. Donald Trump and Biden should be dead. 
I uh, mean, Donald Trump weighs 300 or something pounds, bro. You sound conspiracy theorist no, right now, bro. No, you no. sound conspiracy. You think they getting no. the secrets in there. Well, I They mean, getting shots. They listen, getting shots. People obviously have access to stuff we don't have access to. I don't think that's a conspiracy. They getting theory. vaccines. They, there's the good ones. There's something going on. <laughs> I think the only vaccines. What's that movie with Mark, uh, not Mark Wahlberg, what's Matt Damon where he goes to space and you put somebody in that Martian? bay and it just heals you? I think they got that. I think they got that. That was in Martian? I don't Martian? Not Martian. The one, he where, the one where they bolt that stuff on him and he goes to the Oh, uh, What's it called? No, man. <laughs> Ellipsis? <laughs> All these names Elysium. are right. Asylum. There you Elysium. go. Elysium. That's you what go. it is. There you go. They got them bays, though. You just set somebody in there and it scans you and clears you of cancer and everything else you got. And they got one. one a space odyssey? <laughs> I'm telling you, though, all presidents hey, got access to it. Huh? Biden's the first one that didn't look any older once he got president because he already looked old. Yeah, he's been looking old. <laughs> yeah, but he Damn. went senile. You look at Obama, though. Nah, when he, he went in two years later, Obama looked like he aged 20 years all the time. He's senile. How you got that much gray hair in a two year span, but you still going to survive to 100? It makes no sense. Anyways. I mean, look. Oh, but SG8, he does have that commercial with Chet and for insurance. Oh, yeah, and they were dancing on the stairs. Yeah. Both of them dancing, which I was kind of shocked about that. Is it insurance or a car rental? That's him doing that, all that dancing in that room, though. I was a little concerned. I'm glad you saying that was about a good five years Yeah, ago. that's super old. <laughs> he young. I think he was wearing an Echo t-shirt or something. I was like, <laughs> I was like no, he was wearing, like, the stuff he's uh, talking Nietzsche. about. Oh. It was either... Luxury or uh, no, 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 or it was what's that rounds too? What's that stuff? Vintage? It was one of those. It was either a vintage yeah, shirt or a luxury shirt. It wasn't. No, it wasn't a luxury shirt. Damn. He's young. I think I'm just it saying. Was... It would look like I was like, what room are you in? Uh, because that's no way that's your house. Uh, if, if the video is from today, it has to be from college. Uh, look, he's a young cat. Uh, yeah, it was young. No way. Though. How old is SGA now? He's only like 24, right? Oh, really? I mean, he's been in the league six. He came in eight, 18, 19 was his rookie year. Does any other brand have a chance to get him? Adidas, anybody? Nah. You, you don't, don't send Ant. You don't send Ant to it. his house to say like, "Yo, we could kill the sneaker game." That's not even me. You gotta send Anthony Edwards to SGA house to get him to come to Adidas. What's you have to. Even me, man. You gotta send him to the house. You say, "Yo, Ant, go to SGA house, convince him to come to brand Adidas." You have to. That, that's the only way you could get him to come over there. Yo, two young cats, we killing the game right now. You the number one seed, I'm the number one seed this week. I'm the, come on, that's the only way you could get him to pull up. Okay, hold on. This is crazy with ages. So, SGA, he'll be 26 in July. After Dang. you look that up, look betting odds up and tell me, tell me who's what's the top three in MVP. I already know what it is. Oh, all right, what is it? Well, hold on. Let me do these ages first. So, SGA is 20. He's about to be 26. Lucas 25. Ant's ah. 22. God, Tatum Tatum's twenty six. Tatum has been. Tatum came in at nineteen though. Yeah, he did. yeah. Tatum been in the year in the league one year longer than um, SG. Chet is twenty one. Ja is twenty four. Yeah, but he he's cooked. You know, man. Tyrese is twenty four. <laughs> Jake. Book is only 26. Book is young too, man. Every time <laughs> I hear Book's age, I go, he was God, he was one God of the youngest. Matter, no. He was one of the youngest 18 year olds sent to get drafted. He was he's yeah, young. Yeah, he had just turned 18 or something. Or... What are you talking about? Jaw don't matter. When Jaw came back for them like what three games, he was balling out of his mind. Look at fam. Uh Zion doesn't even matter anymore. And he's actually balling continuously. Oh no, he matters now. The yes. last probably last two, three weeks, they've been oh. really they've been talking about him a lot. But they back to like, betting on us. It was SGA, yeah, yeah, Jokic, have. and then um yeah. SGA, baby. Luca. <laughs> hey, yo, yeah. Why are you hating? I'm not hating, but I mean, good oh, lord. Hating, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, relax, bro. Why, why, he got some cards. He's yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, what the heck? Why are you, why are you hating? Man? He said SGA. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> relax. Look, man. Every Everything he, every career accomplishment is a notch on my belt. Man. I would I cap. would love SGA to go to Adidas. I really would. I feel like he has the best opportunity to have an awesome basketball sneaker than he would with Nike, but he ain't he ain't stepping off the court in shell toes and stuff like that. Unless he wants to. He wants to wear Jordan 1s, he wants to wear off whites, he wants to wear all that fire hype stuff and stuff like that. So I don't know what the Vegas odds of him going to Nike or Adidas, but they <laughs> they gotta be high. <laughs> That's what I place my bet on. Uh Otani betting. Anybody got any thoughts? It's the biggest non controversy in sports <laughs> the biggest history. Non controversy. Dumbest fucking story. <laughs> like, it, nothing is going to become of this. It shouldn't not matter. It shouldn't have mattered to this begin with. This camera's blinking red, right? Blinking red. Okay. Yeah. 
This is the only one I can't see. Those are fun. Yeah, they're all blinking. Right. Blinking red. Just well, absolutely nothing well, is going to cut. Like the, it, it's the major dumbest. League, major League Baseball has to investigate it. Period. Yes. You have to. It, you have to. I guess. <laughs> I mean, investigate it. I mean, they've taken a pretty hard the, stance on betting yeah, Danny Pete Rose. The sport, so. the sport has to investigate it. Now. <laughs> You're just being facetious, and be, you believe that they won't do anything. Absolutely nothing I mean, is going to happen. That's conspiracy stuff. Uh, now, will they do anything? Who knows? It depends what they find out. But I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to go to that length where I don't, where I think everything is like, like payment under the table or whatever to keep Otani active or what. I don't think it's that crazy, bro. I think if somebody was like really doing something, they would get him. Well, do you think what's his name? Epe? Epe? Based on everything we've seen, I think he's just a moron. Bro. Like they said, he lied no, about but, going I mean, to college. As far as them doing seen, something, I don't think I've that seen, makes him the moron. No, but I've, as far I don't as think it does either. I don't think it makes him the moron. Hold on a second. Both can be morons. What, what do you mean? He has, he's clearly a moron. If he's, I've seen Japanese people say every time they saw him speak, like when it was a public speaking thing, he was translating Japanese horrendously, and they didn't know. So yes, maybe Otani was, was also a moron for uh, employing him, but that doesn't mean he's not a moron. I don't know if that makes you a moron if you one of the top ten greatest con artists of all time <laughs> already. He's a pretty already. high up there in cons. He's dang near. What's that movie with DiCaprio was being chased if, by Tom Hanks? Catch me, if you yeah, can. catch me if you can. He did a pretty darn good job. Until what happened? Then he got caught. So clearly you're a moron. Oh, no, no, no. That just happens when yeah. you can't stop. No, no, no. It just, that just happens. Mm -hmm. Get caught, it just happens. No, no, no. Well, it, it's inevitable. The sun, right? All right. Getting caught is inevitable. But like, listen, like, like, no, listen no, Bishop, no. fam, if you're sitting there saying that Japanese people are like, huh? And, and, there, and no, one's in, no one does anything? Like, yeah. eventually. Hey, you know, Bishop Sycamore, man, still. Active con people both, and both facts. both people can be morons. You're you're, you're skip, skipping past that point completely. I think you mean your man, definition of moron may be different than mine. Then from him, you think he's a moron because that's just stupid to do. I think yes. it's like that's just he's a bad decision maker. Like uh, the guy, thing. that's the, fine, but I don't consider that a moron. Moron to me is like everybody. I'm not talking about like, like uh, three stooges, like. I'm an idiot. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking. I mean, I'm talking. Nobody saw a resume, a college. Degree. Nobody saw nothing. Like nothing. So both parties can be stupid. Then is what. You're, uh, I don't that's know. That's a man. lot more parties than just the two yeah. of them. To because be there's like, two organizations. I don't, I don't think it is. <laughs> well, it's Angels and Dodgers. They showed the timeline of his. If stuff? you read into the stories, Otani literally has like three people involved in his entire life. His mom uh, was his like financial person now is it his fault for not having like a professional person doing it uh, obviously but the whole like thing with his mom and like he had like the lawyer and the mom or the agent and the mom or whatever and that was it and then translator man so i think it's just something where he's like japanese culture for him is like you only respect certain people or something you know what i mean i don't know what it he, he obviously made a mistake in trusting homeboy there's no doubt about that and i never said that that he that wasn't the case, but so we, did Otani personally hire Homeboy? Oh, I don't know. Or did the Angels hire? I him? have no idea. <laughs> Apparently, know, him man. and his Homeboy no have been besties like for years. If I had got away up to this part and I'm sitting in nothing but the finest restaurants yeah, and, and hotels, I'm and I'm like, and, like <laughs> the betting stuff is the moron stuff. Like, what? yeah, he exactly he ruined the. It's like it would be like a golf caddy like doing something to like ruin his. Tiger Woods caddy. You know like, what? Like, yeah, like, like when you so, make two million dollars a year as a caddy, and you're and you do something illegal to get like arrested or lose your job, you're a moron. Bro. On betting, which is the even easiest, a sure thing. You got the easiest gig in the world. <laughs> yeah, but let, let me let me explain to you why it it is moronic. It is dumb. But that see, I'm not a, a gambling person. I hate when you guys talk about gambling. I hate when my friends gamble. I hate it. Not because I think you're bad or irresponsible. I just hate it because I know it's just doing something. I'm not going to use the word sin. It's a, it's just one of those additional things where it's like, you don't got to do it. Why do it? He doesn't have to. He doesn't do it. But like. When you're. Put, well, hold on. Like, Before you say what you're going to say. Japanese. Japan is on. one of the highest gambling countries in the entire world all right i think you're confusing them with china no no no. japan is based on what based on the numbers but from from uh lottery numbers? stuff from not mahjong whatever the games they play like it's one of the highest in the entire country especially amongst men now when you, i think you're confusing no 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 japan with a different I, i'm pretty i'm pretty confident <clears throat> in that. like I'm, macau is in china 
I, I, I know that. I okay. said it's one of the highest. <laughs> fine, maybe not the highest in the country, but it's one of the highest. Japan is. That's a fact. It's one of the highest amongst Japanese people as well, I believe. I, I mean, I, to me personally, I've never seen gambling associated with Japanese What's culture ever. About? You can look that stuff. I think I feel like I've read that many a might, times. I think you might be thinking about the wrong country. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm pretty confident. Now, here's the thing, though. Otani, Ipe, all these cats. When you get exposed to these things that you may not know be a problem for you, that's what happens. If you a caddy making two million a year and you do something stupid like that, like betting or something dumb, you may not realize that's a problem. But hold for on you. a second, your Ipe went to high school in the United States of America. He's not like um, he what well, he didn't grow up fully in the Japan and like yeah, yeah, live I, in that culture his entire life. Yeah, it's I know different. That, but he he's may, Americanized. Yes, but he I don't know if he had the the resources to do so. What now. Do you mean? He's well. Gambling was illegal when he was in high school. Yeah, he's it was illegal the then. But now he has basically coast. unlimited funds right now. Right. That's one. Two. I don't know if he was doing any type of gambling, and I'm not talking about like sports gambling. Any type of gambling or nothing prior to that. He may have had a problem prior to sports gambling. Okay. The problem is, is now that like you're involved. But you're with, associating Japanese culture. What I'm saying is like he's Americanized. He's not. That's fine. Oh no no. So let me go back to different. that. Let me go back to that. I'm go- I when it comes to Otani and the Dodgers, I play super Republican conservative. Like I am very hypocritical. I could care less. Like I turn a blind eye to it, whatever, because I love him and I love the Dodgers. <clears throat> I feel like he knows. I will never argue with anybody that about it. I, I will never defend. I would never argue it. I would never say it on social media. I never argue no text message. I feel like. He's aware. That's how I will put it. I'm not going to say, like, he's aware. I'm not going to say he liked it. I'm not going to say he encouraged it. I'm not, not going to say anything like that. He's aware. I, I, I just, I, I find what, it. What brought I, you to okay. that opinion? Okay, I just, so I always me, thought it right off the bat. I just read it right off the bat. Okay, but, you had to formulate the opinion somehow. No, no, so. It's the, you're, he's only involved, he's only involved with three people in his entire life. Like, it's not like he's just so busy with so many other things that he got so much in his life going on that, like, he does baseball and the three people in his entire life. That's all it sounds like he does. For him to this be like, what the? All right, man. Now, hold on now. Yeah. Now, hold on. I, I could care less. <laughs> I could care less. Uh, don't do nothing to him. Let him go play, play ball. That's all I it's care about. It's way too I don't much care. weird stuff. To like, It's just, it, it seems like a lot of convenient. It, it would take a lot of convenient things happening for him to be like, oh, he didn't know. Like, he's around him all the time. Like, that they put all that stuff in his contract. Like, I understand that he's a kajillionaire, whatever, but, like, wouldn't your bank notify you if millions of dollars, like, went missing, like, from your account? Like, well, wouldn't you or be, be flagged? They wouldn't, him? though. Or be flagged? I mean... Yeah, but they wouldn't. Why? Because they, he only... My, I spent $300, and they're hold like, on. hey, is this your charge? Hold on, hold on, no, no, no. If you only trust three people in your entire life, what the heck do I? I'm not checking my text message. Like we're talking about, he trusts three people, and one of them is probably the most important out of all the three. I mean, his mom is important, and his wife. That's cool, but that man is there on his side 24 seven. Okay, now I'm not sitting here saying I could, I could care less. I'm like gamble all you want, all time. I don't give a shite. Mm-hmm. All right, I don't give. A, I'm not arguing with no Padres fans. I ain't arguing with San Francisco Giants. I ain't arguing with nobody. I don't give a shite because if it was the other way around, they'd be doing the same thing. Well, you okay, wouldn't, you wouldn't be arguing. We'll be doing with them the same thing. You what do you mean? The same thing. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Believe it or not, I'm not having any conversation with anybody about it. But I'm you, just. But I'm, you believe he knows, which is the same thing they believe. Well, no, no. Yes, but I, I I could care less that he knows. Like they care that he knows. They want him out the league. They want him in trouble. I mean, that's a different issue. I could care they less. They would, if, if it was something else, exactly. If it was, if it was I like his dog, I, so yeah. But if it was if it was Tatis, if it was if it was if it was Harper, if it was Tatis, if it was Judge, if it was Giants anybody and Padres else, fans would do anything to win a championship. Trust me, that's <laughs> cool. Not care. No, if it no, was I'm not if about it was I'm responding to Ricardo. If it was any other athlete, I wouldn't care either. Like I wouldn't be like get him out of here. If it was an Astros player, I would. The Astros actually cheated. And yeah, I cared and less. Nothing happened. I yeah. went, boy. I wish that's the, why I literally went. I wish the Dodgers would have done a little cheating mm-hmm. themselves. Like, but hey, it is what it is. Like, that's why. That's why I be, like. Just nothing's gonna come of it. I, like, I just assume non controversial. I just assumed uh, professional players do gamble. I think I like. 
I think you're I, just a moron if you get caught. Because yeah, like, I think, tell your buddy to make your bets. Yeah, like, and here's the thing: if a, um, let's say, like a Tyreek Hill or which somebody, which is a segue into the other one I was gonna bring up, the Michael Porter Jr.'s brother, which I had no idea that was his brother. Yeah, I had no idea. Now here's the thing: like, let's say like a Tyreek Hill or somebody like that who's out there. If he got a bunch of homies and all them, and they and they do something that he didn't know, I'd believe that a lot more. He's a person that just got a lot going on in his yeah. life, it seems like. He got, like, nine kids, nine baby mamas. He's just out there in the streets of Miami. He partying, diamonds, greatest wide receiver. He's he out there. Mm -hmm. When you're a foreign superstar, <clears throat> barely speak any of the language, and you got three of the most important people in your life, and that's who your circle is right there, I, I, I find it hard-pressed yep. to not know something. I'm not saying he encouraged it. I'm not saying that he – he maybe not even know it was that bad. But I'm I'm hard pressed to say that. Now I ain't gonna sit there and die. I could give a shite, you know. But and this is coming from background of what I know and what I do. It's it's really hard to believe that. But maybe. But but I'm also not that person either. I'm also not that person that like. Of course, maybe maybe the dinosaurs will come back too. Like I'm not one of those people. Like it's it's a you have a certain amount of facts. You got a certain amount of information, and all the facts and information that you have about this, it's like this. It's in this one little ball of circle with three people. Like it's not like they gotta go reach and put together pieces and puzzles. It's like here, nobody in here knew but this one man. Like it's there, but. I could care less. Go get that championship. I've been watching every single Diamond Dodgers game I could. I'm in it. All right. But I'm close. Nothing else? Anybody else? So you're betting on the Dodgers to win the World Series? I'm, I don't <laughs> bet. Uh, I, I want all my friends to stop betting. I, I hate gambling, though, because it it's like um Bruno Mars. Like, he may not have had a problem that he realized it. But then you go get a residency in Vegas, it can unlock something in you you didn't know was there. Mm -hmm. Fam, I don't care if Bruno Mars is $50 million in debt or $700 million in debt. There's something that unlocked in you in an environment and something that you're allowed to do that you, you shouldn't be there. You shouldn't be there. Like, I'm sorry. If, I, if, if I'm an alcoholic, I can't do shows in the bars. I can't. I, I got to go to do them in the parks. I, that's to me. That's just me speaking my own mind about stuff like that. Anyways, uh, NCAA tournament, men's, women's, men's whack, women's fire, unreal. <clears throat> uh, men's has been okay. Nah, it's whack. Nah, it's okay. Nah, it's whack. You know what I? I think I realized. I think as a old person who complains a lot about NBA basketball, I think I like women's basketball the most. It's mm -hmm. just basketball. Like, they play defense. They don't do too much crazy stuff. Now, you got to overlook some of the bad decisions and weird stuff they try to do. Like, like miss layups and... Yeah, things like that. You're like, all right, come on now. Like, But it's just basketball. And even the college men's college basketball, it's kind of just basketball. Especially like, with uh, every game I look at the box score, it's like both teams shooting 32%, 35%. The tournament has been awful. Yeah, There's but... one really good team, another semi-good team, Purdue. And then and then dust. <clears throat> yeah. and, and, and I will the team stink. stink. Yeah, U of A is one. It, uh, oh, they uh, super stink. Uh, 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 <laughs> I said it before the dude, that was I coming. sent y'all the tweet. I mean, mm -hmm. they if they would have beat every team in their bracket by thirty or lost in the first round to send it whatever they, would have they played, I would not have been surprised. I I think the one thing I know about men's basketball is like once they you beat get, Alabama by twenty five earlier this year. Once you, <laughs> you beat the team is in the final four. Once you get down by like. 14, 15, like, you're cooked in men's basketball, in college basketball to that's me. That's crazy, because in the NBA, that's like, do you remember in the NBA, like, a team would be up 15, you're like, this is over. Like, oh, back yeah. in the day. You back go in to the, the bathroom and come back. Team is down. Yeah. If the, if I'm not team talking about today. If in the 90s, and you're up by 15, you oh, put the bench in. It was locked. And now, like, for example, the Suns, they're up 26, you're like, they ain't over and yet. It, it, no team is out of it now with the three point shot. None. But in college, if they the don't have that. Team, if the favorite team in college is down, they can come back, especially if they're at home. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. I bet on it. <laughs> I'm like the only team that right now is, is UConn. That seems uh, to like they get up, they up. They, you know, it is what. Well, it that's is. different. If you're down to the best team that has all the athletes in the center and whatever else, yeah, you ain't making. Yeah, a but like I know UConn was good yeah, all year, but 30, I didn't know UConn was that they good. They went on a 30 0 run against Illinois, and Fam, Illinois is really. You good. should get fired for that. I don't care how good your program is. Somebody has to answer for that. 30 and 0. I thought Illinois wasn't going to score again. I was like, I don't think they're going to make another shot. <laughs> Thirty and zero is is it's it's statistically impossible. Like you should be able to turn around, throw a shot backwards, and make it in thirty shots. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, 
You're a college athlete. They sucked. I was right. like, I said, the tournament's been whack, bro. Every that's team's what I'm saying. Like thirty percent. What they said about the GCU game? There, there was only five assists or something. Damn. NC State, NC State was an eleven seed in their own conference tournament. They have no business being here right now. Now, DJ Turner or whatever his name is, fun man. Everyone rooting for him. Knock yourself out. They made a three. <laughs> what? Whoever they played in the quarterfinals or semifinals of the ACC tournament. Fun missed man. a free throw to put him up four with like three seconds left or four seconds left. And they left. hit a three. If that free, yeah. if the free throw goes in, NC State doesn't even make the yep. tournament. NCAA tournament. They were 11 seed off of winning their conference tournament. They have no business being there. It's crazy. No. It's crazy that both UConn men, UConn women, both NC State and UC State, UNC State women are both No, they right lost. There. NC State UN... women lost. No, they're in there. I thought they, NC State women. They lost. No. Yes, they did. Wait, who did NC State win play? The I think all the one seeds are or no USC is the only one seed that didn't make it. Iowa made it. Uh, South Carolina made it. Um, UConn made it. And uh, uh, what did I say? South Carolina, Iowa, UConn, and then whoever the other one seed was. Is it NC State in the Final Four women's? No, I'm pretty sure they lost. They no, lost in the Elite Eight. They were the three seed. They lost. <laughs> I think it's NC State men. Play. Yeah, NC State's still in. They NC State Carolina. women's still in. They play South Carolina. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Tripping. Who do they beat? They beat, uh... Who did they beat? They beat Tennessee? Texas. 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 Oh, Texas. okay, yeah. Texas yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I knew they were still oh, in. Sucks. Um, Look, who y'all got moving on, though? South well, Carolina's not losing. Shoot, I don't know, man. We're talking and, men's and or women's. And <laughs> men aren't losing. <laughs> Iowa. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I think South that Carolina game is probably is the fire, favorite, though. but you never know. Caitlin Clark could do whatever. That The Iowa-UConn game is going to be fire. I think it's going to be yeah, better be than unreal. all the other games. Yep. Regardless of who plays South Carolina <clears throat> championship game, Iowa-UConn is going to be fire. And the men's side, it doesn't matter. UConn's like uh, The only team, in theory, Alabama could beat. UConn, if Alabama shoots 50% from three, because they shoot a million threes and they play fast. But the only, the I mean, I think Purdue is the only team that matches up at all with UConn just because they have a, a, a also giant. a big guy who's the same size as the other guy's big guy. And, you know, their guards have to make shots. If Purdue's guards don't make shots, they're cooked. Anybody going? Out here? I went. Oh, you going? I went I'm last time it was here. Working. Oh, okay. If Arizona was in it, I would have gone, but not. I'm not gonna go see four random teams again. Oh, uh, you know, it's an experience. Nah. Uh-huh. That's I've why I decided to work there. it because I was like, I'll be in the building and I'll get okay. paid. Yeah, I went to the Final Four and Championship game last time I was here. I'm only I, working, and it f- was like I'm only doing the Saturday though. Apparently, either half price or a third of the price then as it is now, and it's like with whack teams too. I don't get it. I would have thought prices would have. Also, the women's Final Four is like. Double the price of the yeah, because Clark and Buffers. where's that one at? Yeah, that one's in uh, I oh, thought Cleveland. Was, somebody said Minnesota, but it's in I Cleveland. Saw Cleveland on the Jeez, fucking game sucks. last uh, the other night was in Albany. Like, yeah, it was why the Albany, fuck are they New there? Oh, they are doing some weird stuff with that. Look, women's basketball is at least college right and now, and they knew it was gonna be there, fire. Mm-hmm. It's up there, boy. Like, I, I've been I pretty much watched almost all the women's tournament as well. I think I missed like a couple games, I watched all the men's tournament too as well. Um, missed a few games being at soccer and stuff like that, but like the women's game is just so good now. Like it's just more entertaining. Like I think the storylines does matter for it. Um, and Caitlin Clark, man. Ah. Wait, hold on. Can I say this? You know why the women's is better because of the storylines? Because these teams have been together. These players have been on the same 100%. team. One hundred percent. Guess what, man? Oh, we lost. I'm gonna go to transfer portal. I hate that. Uh, That's all they do uh, now. Women, the women, women have a transfer too. portal. Too. They, no, do. They, they do. They do. But they have. They don't go to the league. They, in women's basketball, they do. But they go. The LSU's third best player transferred from Louisiana or uh, Louisville. Uh, yeah, what, Van Leaf? I mean, she was getting <laughs> thrashed last night. Yeah, I think cut. anybody would get, have gotten thrashed against Kate and Clark last night. She no, 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 I'm talking about she was getting thrashed on Twitter. Uh, oh, like, yeah. She was got, the only, like she was clearly, like, shook or something. I was like, yeah. what is up with her? All I don't right. think she's played well at all in the tournament, though. Like, the game before that they, I think UCLA or whatever they beat, she was, like, two for 11. She, she like, she was th- that shrug, just. <laughs> she... <laughs> Apparently, the reason why she transferred to LSU is because Baylor was her second choice initially, and, you know, Mulkey went to Racist from lady. Baylor to LSU. <laughs> but 
I think what she didn't realize was like LSU's guards were already so good they didn't need her. You know what I mean? Like you went from the number one option on Louisville to like maybe four on LSU. Like, buddy, you should have went somewhere else. What's what crazy is they kept taking her out after she did something goofy, but then they had to keep putting her back <laughs> in. <laughs> like every time I looked, I'm like, oh, they're taking her back in. Like they nobody else. they weren't playing nobody. She should went head. Yeah. They were <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce um, I don't know if it was Flauje or how you pronounce her Flau-J. name. Flau-J. She is a basketball player. Yeah. Flauje the rapper. A star. Oh my god, the defense and, I, and she is she is good. She's the one that won the championship for him last year. She uh, Destroyed Iowa in the championship game. She too. is good. I was highly disappointed in USC, but man, only a freshman could take you so far. To... Uh, Juju was doing some goofy stuff at the end of that game. She and was. Then but they, she, she had to she, do everything. She was her. pressing. She was pressing. And then their team just was doing too much one on one in general. Like even the other guards were like trying to go one on one, turn it over. But she, fam, she made good as fuck though. Oh my god, yeah. already is. I mean, well, when, she she may be the best women's player of all time by the time it's said and done. I mean. When she's she, crazy already. when what? that girl stole the ball uh, on the inbound Juju, pass Juju. and didn't know what to do, I was yelling at the TV. But you know what's crazy? And I, I texted in the well, third. Well, what you call it? Try to blow that. You had missed five free throws or whatever in a row, and Fam. then threw that seven pass in a row. Away? I think seven. I don't in think a it was row. seven. I think it was five. But either way, still like you're up eleven or twelve. Bruh, that was and they, they tried five, their best. And you threw it away. What threw it away, do? and then like the she sons. didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> Fam, that look, I, I, and I'll tell you this, and I, I never, you know, I guess like now that it's happened to me, I may believe some of those stories a little bit more. You know how people be like, oh, you know, now my daughter, she's saw the women play and now she's into it. It actually happened to me. Like I've I've been watching women's basketball for quite some time, and I always think to myself like, oh, I'm gonna show Cruzy and see and she never. And Cruzy came in the room and was like, are those girls? Climbed in the bed and started watching the game, and I was like, "Holy crap!" I'm explaining to her Juju. I'm talking to her about the team, and I'm like, and she yelling at the TV with me, and I'm like, "What the heck? Like this actually happened?" So I was like, "Oh shit! Like this is tight because she loves playing basketball side." I was like, "Okay, like I, you catch me in court side somewhere. At a, <laughs> catch us at the Cruzy Mercury court side. You know? Like I'm dead serious. Like you catch me court side with Mercury game with my daughter. Like I was like, oh shoot! Like I'm so focused on Cortez and soccer that like I keep forgetting like." how perfect she is like she's the one that i don't have to worry about even though she's younger than cortez like she gets up gets herself dressed does her hair she cortez we gotta drag out the bed gotta argue with him yell at him make him put on lotion make him brush his teeth like but anyways but i thought that was a cool thing uh is that it and if our rule changes anybody got anything to say about that what are the rule changes is the kickoff thing that real drop. or was that a yeah, the kickoff thing that's I think real. real i don't know if that was a uh which April is Fools sick. or what i think it's what is cool. the rule so I don't think so. I think, I think it's stupid. But. I think the the two teams like stand on the forty, and then the kicker kicks it, and nobody can move until the returner catches. Wait, the ball. what? Yeah, there's, oh, a, that's there's a video nah, on Twitter. That's fire. Why is that fire? I don't know. I just think, <laughs> I think it's, it's super sick. lame. I think it rules. I don't know, man. No, nah, it's, you watch the video just, on Twitter. It's, it's super lame. Nah. It doesn't like the UFL and do that and, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And or the, the XFL. The XFL. reality XFL. is that it may stop the injuries up men or whatever from getting injured because yeah. they're not like running full speed. It's not going to stop the returner from getting injured. Though. No, it's he's not. still getting blasted. Yeah, but yeah. does it give him an opportunity to get more t- possible touchdowns no. by doing that? No, you have a. Uh, what's the reason for it? The reason 11, just injury? You got just eleven cats things, spread yeah. out in a in like in a compressed field <coughs> trying to tackle you. You know, you ain't got more room. And then the hip, you can't hip drop Fire. tackle anymore, which is going to be so like. It's it would be a good rule, but it's but not going to be called well. right. Yeah, it's not going to be called the right. The tweet I kept seeing is like, it's going to be funny when it's like your team's playing the the Chiefs, Chiefs the and it's fourth and, and twenty five, and Mahomes gets <laughs> tackled in the backfield, and, and they, they call, call it a hip drop, list, and yeah. it's an on Mac first down. All these rules they put on the books on paper are good ideas, but a game ain't played on paper, so it's impossible exactly. to adjudicate. Do, it's Ooh, subjective. Like, helmet to helmet, it's subjective. That, pass yeah. interference. They're all in theory good ideas, but they just don't work. The only one that I was like, okay, that worked was horse collar. Horse collar, yeah. yeah. That used to be a very popular way to tackle people, and mm-hmm. also broke a lot of legs. Like yep. That seemed to be like, okay. But not being able to tackle at the hips or whatever that rule is or whatever is insane. You know? like, See, and I feel like I would everyone say that brought I, up the, the, what was it, the near pick six that DK Metcalf like came and tackled dude. And they were oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, this would have got called back. It's like, that's not a hip drop tackle. They're talking about the and ones the one... where you grab them and you roll them yeah. over, right? Yeah. 
No, where you, you drop, you, you drop, drop your body, all weight. your body weight yeah. on their yeah. legs. Oh, I know what you're talking mm-hmm. about. That one more. Oh, so I used to teach Oscar how to tackle that way. <laughs> like wrap them and just drop everything and just mm-hmm. bring them down. Oh, I will okay. say the defenseless receiver was probably a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. Because Vontez Burfecht was like killing people. The most Im- <laughs> literally <laughs> like. The- the most important, well, besides that one, the most important thing that they still haven't is just people diving on the pile late. Like, they don't. You're not even supposed to. <laughs> that it's one always kills thing. me. <laughs> like, it's the dumbest thing. That, funny, that's though. the way more, that's that one one way more dangerous than all the stuff they allow. And they still <laughs> let cats die, like, dive head first into the pile late after the man's already been down. And they won't throw a flag. And it's supposed to just be a personal foul that governs that. But you got all these yeah. other rules on stuff that's happens way less and is less important than this. Mm. That's super dangerous. The best is those videos Stupid. where the dude like tries to sky in the pile and the pile shifts and he just misses it completely. <laughs> 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 I look now the rule with the hip thing. Now that you guys described it, uh, that one does get a lot of ankles and stuff caught up under there when you bring down it's like good that. In theory, but, it's, but there's it's no hard to gonna, stop that. No, it's so hard. But to they're stop not going to call it right. We're we're, we're like ten Ooh. years away from flag football. People are not going to be able to. Stop doing it. I mean, you're you're yeah. All these people have it's been just doing natural this whole life. motion yeah. sometimes yeah. to fall that way. I mean, I'm like you know, the one that's the, not it's hard natural not to, get to tackled, me. To, to tackle someone in general at this point. The like, one that's not natural to me is when DBs go for the legs on somebody who's not looking at them. That's what I don't like. And they obviously oh, I hate that too. What they I hate in the game. that one though. But how can you like? like obviously, you're not going to govern that. You're not going to kill somebody by doing that, but you could end a career. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. I don't even know what that was. No, I don't know. I just don't think. It's, it's, it's well going to have a lot of controversy. He's not going to edit it, so just keep talking. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of controversy with that hip drop rule. Yeah, it'd be a what? good rule if they called it right. Oh, look, he wasn't even on that long. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Nothing. No. Dang, you are French. <laughs> La croix. La croix. La croix. I got this out of this camel by like, I was like, oh, what's up, man? <laughs> Anyways, you, shook, uh, you thought he was gonna snitch. Nah, man, he probably is gonna snitch. I'll probably get a message like, "Hey, just remember the left bridge is not for us." Uh, y'all got anything else? Nah, nothing. You wanna do top ten? Don't think so. Top ten. Let's do top ten and go home, man. That's a decent pot. Ew. <laughs> what flavor is that? Man, duh. No, the Corys are all gross, but limoncello, fam. What? This tastes like a diaper. It tastes like a brand new diaper, like that baby powder Ooh. smell. Wouldn't what? Know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't know. Neither of us, none of us would know. Oh. oh, yeah, I guess. I mean, except for... Oh. Yeah, just him. Oh, I got no choice. I'm parched. We are doing top 10 sneakers we own. As of right now, we wouldn't sell and keep forever to us. Mm, Does right. anybody got any honorable mentions? I don't. None. You do, George. I got one. George what? loves honorable mentions. Let's go, George. What you got? I don't think I've had honorable mentions in a long time. You've had uh, quite a few. No, I don't. One hundred percent. Not it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Kith uh, mid. Um, Ultra Boost. Yeah. Aspen. Mm. Mm, good one. Now, is that because you beat them up too bad D-backs or because cool. you love them so much? No, I mean, like, it was like a, I did a victory lap when I was able to cop that joint online. So I remember like, that night. Would I, ever get I didn't get them. That was quite the night. That's when sneakers used to come out at, like, what, 8 p.m. sometimes? <laughs> quite the night. Gosh. My, uh, my honorable mention is also a Kith shoe. Cause what is it? I just remembered I had Volcanoes. Volcano Jelly Cloud. You do? Yeah. You got volcanoes? I've never yeah. seen you wear those. Do they I beat up or something? Nah. Oh. Dang. I got no armor mentions. You got that on the armor mention? Armor mention? Volcano Fire? That should definitely be in the top I ten. I forgot about it. I didn't put it on the list now. I mean, you could have. Like, nah, it ain't like the late. graphics are finalized. Nah, like, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Andy, you got any? No, I don't. Me My neither. other ones is better. Who wants to go first? Oh, you want me to go first? I'll go first then. Since everybody is is oh lord somebody's like can you buy me these shoes oh lord um we're doing top 10 sneakers that we own as of right now we wouldn't sell and keep forever to us i'm going first number 10 reebok pump french opens now 
I love these because they're canvas and they got the red clay on them. Because if you know the clay courts in the French Open, that red splatters all over them. I mm -hmm. love these shoes. Now, I will give credit to George on the why I own this pair because me and George is at work. And they had one pair left. They had two two sneakers on there. They had Run DMC shell toes, which I was stupid not to buy in my size because I think they go for like 900 or something. They went for a grip. And they had these French Opens on there. There was the only two nine and a halfs on Packers, sitting on Packer forever. And I was like, I'll buy the French Open ones. So I copped them joints, loved them. I've never seen them worn by anybody. I've never seen them posted on social media. I've never seen anybody rocking them. I haven't seen them Miami. in a minute, ever. I mean, maybe, but them joints is also big giant pumps. Like, nah. so I really don't know if I can wear them joints. Uh, the number nine, number nine. I put this on here only because it's the only one I got. But I got the Yeezy 350 V2 Red Stripe. It's the only one I got. It's one of the most iconic sneakers ever to me due to, obviously, all the controversy with Yeezy and Adidas. And it was a fan favorite of a lot of people before we had it. It's a shoe that I'll probably never buy another colorway. Like, it's the only... After all the 350 V2s I had, I sold them all, being emotional about his stupid behavior. And now I own one, and I'll probably never buy another one again. I don't see myself buying one ever again, so I got that on the list. Number eight, I got the Jordan 6 Black Infrared. I mean... Preferably the 2000 model. Um, I mean, it's my favorite Jordan of all time. To me, it's the greatest Jordan sneaker of all time still to me, even though I won't wear a six anymore. And maybe I will bring one out. I don't know. Maybe one day. But, um, I mean, it's my very first Jordan that I ever owned. I went back and bought fives and stuff like that. Um, but it's the very first one I ever owned. Anyways, number seven, I got the Air Max 97 Gold or Silver Bullet. I mean, that to me is the greatest Air Max of all time. Gold. Or silver. I, I don't care which one. But I love the 97. I don't think the 97 is nearly as bulky as a 90. <laughs> man, bulkier in comparison to an Air Max phone. I can put on a 97 anytime with any fit. It don't matter. The gold and silver to me are like those type of colorways on a sneaker meant to wear with anything. Like, you don't got to match it up like, oh, man, I ain't got no gold. Or I ain't got no silver, no gray. No, no, no. You put that shoe on. Um... Number six, I got AirTech Challenge to the Lavas. Now, a lot of people may say to themselves, dang, Greg got it that low. I got, like, more than one pair. And also, they're about to retro again with, like, reimagined pair. Like, I don't feel like I could never not own those, so I don't got them that high on the list. And also, I can't tell you the last time I put on an AirTech Challenge 2. Love them. We got multiple colorways. I still never wore Wimbledon. I still haven't wore U.S. Opens. I haven't wore any of those ones that are must-haves. I got Kumquats. I got Digital, Digitals, Greens. I got... Any color you could think of, except French Open. I still need digitals. French Open and um, Australian Opens. Them Australian Opens, fire. I am got those on my watch list on, on eBay for a few of them, but I don't know, man. 350 uh, 400 for a Tech Challenge 2. Now you got know, Union man. to start worrying about. Yeah, I know. I got I to go home and, and think about that, man. I got to <laughs> think about that Union. 700 I wonder if Rerun still has that. You think they still got that? You think it's gone? Yeah. That's probably gone. Uh, number five, I got the New Balance, uh, Hyannis, Kennedy, whatever you want to call it now. It's obviously the OG is Kennedy, but they retroed it for the Hyannis. It's one of those models. What is it, a 999? I think that's what it is. I don't like the model anymore. One of my favorite shoes of all time. That's Talk one, about that. That's, that's the one. The one model that you were like, I don't like it anymore. Yeah, like that may be the only New Balance that I've ever like loved. The model, love it. And then I go, I don't like it anymore. Like, it's something about how it fits. And maybe I need a half size Slim. down or whatnot. Yeah. I don't know. I, they, they cool. Like, I ain't mad at them. But, like, it was a must-have that I got. Thank goodness they retroed it. What, what, them joints sat for a minute, right, Kennedy's? When they came cool. out? They, Kennedy, they the OG Kennedy. I think the red one did. I don't think no, 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 no. Here. When they very first came out, the first retro Kennedy oh, New Balance nah, ever. I mean, they let people get back in line for the release there. I think they may have sat because they didn't. Like they didn't allow people who didn't weren't local to call in and order them or something. There was some story like that. It was something. Um, but if you were there, some people like got one, got back in line, got one, got mold, like ten pairs or whatever. Well, um, <clears throat> number four, I got a uh, Dunk SB De La Solo. <coughs> um, I don't know if any of you guys have them. You guys got them? I have highs. Um, I saw them at the outlet for. $25 and I didn't buy them. <laughs> I, I have bought them for retail and then went to the outlet and was like, what the? And then returned the retail pair and then bought them at outlet price. In hand, it's just one of the greatest quality sneakers of all time. The thickness of the the like elephant print that's brown, the the reflective, the suede. The, 
that shoe is flawless. Um, and I, I'll never get rid of it because I don't know. That was the retro. Mm -hmm. The retro went from a high to a low. I don't think they'll ever do that again to me. So, um, And then at number three, I got the AJ1 Brett Lowe's. I mean, I, 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 I feel good about those because we had the foresight to buy multiple pairs when they came out. I bought two Shadows, two Royals, two uh, Bread. Now, I was stupid and passed on Chicago's, but now I, I wear those every single day. Like, I mean, I mean, not every single day, every single week. Like, if I can't figure out what to put on, I'm putting on a Bread Low OG. And anytime I wear those, somebody goes, ugh, the OG, all the time. Number... Oh, you didn't put the high on the list? Have you worn the high? No. When well, Don got you? Nah, you can't, I can't sell I, that either. Nah, but I would never sell that though. See, that's one of those ones that like I would never sell anything that Mosh has given me or Dizzy Gothic or you know even Saya has sent me one a couple pairs before. Like I would never sell those ever because those are nice gifts and I appreciate that. Um, number two, I got the Asics GT2. It's GT2, right? No, Kill Bill, not GT2. Gel Saga. Gel Saga. Asics Gel Saga Kill Bill. I bought a second pair from Sneaker Grandpa. Like, if I see them, I'm going to buy them again because you just don't see them that often. Yeah. I wore my pair to feature in Scottsdale uh, probably a few months back. Walked, I'm going in the store, coming out. Cats was like, G -g -g kill bills. Like, never and never see those. When he sold that second pair, it was a size 10. I was like, mine or nine and a half. I was like, oh, I'm copping. I don't care what it was. It was like, maybe good prices, actually. Like, he yeah. sells stuff at good prices. Stuff good. So I got two pair of those. my list is from him. It's like, um, and now, and my, my pair is beat. And it's like, cool, I got that backup reserve just in case. And I've never heard of an ASIC cracking or doing it. Does ASICs ever crack or mess up, really? Okay. On uh, the um, on the upper and stuff. But, like, it'll take a while. Like, people's, like, 2011, like, Salmon Toe, like, 1.0s are, like, the uppers cracking. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Um, and then, number one, I got the Jordan 1 Low Costin UNC, the blue pair. I, I number beat, one. I've beat those. I came on here, I don't know what other week, what episode we did, and I, I said – these are beaters now. Like I took my foot. So I wear those all the time. I take them on every single vacation. I didn't know that. And who was that that sent? Oh, you sent that one. The cat had posted. Remember these? And it was the blue pair. They got the little pink Jordan logo. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you the last time I wore those. I don't even know. Some I'm not even sure what they I said, oh, my God, I remember I got those at Foot Action, blah, blah, blah. Damn, it was an Nike SB. Okay, Shut up. You got a loser foot geek. action. <laughs> That's how cats, cats just be on the internet. That's bro. like, uh, cats just be on the Lion. internet. Who was, who was Dusty Man when you used to talk? I mean, we ain't gonna say his name, but you remember you Dusty Baby? About he, used, he used to lie. Dusty Baby. He used to lie about that stuff. <laughs> Which one? So many liars. Uh, he, uh, KD4, uh, so I don't know if it was Chinese liars. New Year, International. Oh, he was like, oh, you're the yeah, dragon. Ten pairs. Yeah, you're the dragon. I got 10 pairs of foot. Of, Foot, uh, uh, what do you say? Finish line last night. I was like, bam, shut. Yeah, uh, here's the so thing. You're in line. He was actually dusty. I think he just got through yeah, cutting like uh, yeah. granite or something. Yeah. Uh, like, he, man. he brought about five dusty homies with him. No, uh, they look like uh, that <laughs> man on the boy on uh, Char Peanuts was Charlie Brown, mm -hmm. that dusty boy. Pink 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 them Pink cats <laughs> were so dusty at Nike Scottsdale. We was choking that it was dusty. You should, you should show Cortez a picture of those people. Like, you don't want to look like this and get clowned on. Fam, Cortez. <laughs> Anyways, but yes. Guess what? We used to clown on people with ashiness. Like. We did. Uh, I get on Cortez right now about being ashy because he hates lotion. Uh, like, if he puts on lotion, he walks around like this. Like, he wants his clothes to touch him. Enough. Like, my kid's different. Um, <laughs> but yes, do is rub it in more. I keep telling, oh, I, I even showed him a video. I even showed him a video of his pores. I said, look, the lotion goes in your pores. You good. He'll put lotion on before bed and he gets in the bed like this. And I said, Cortez, man, will you just lay down and go to sleep? I, I'm not letting the, the lotion touch my sheets. And I'm like, lay down, like go to sleep. Like lay down. He just in the bed like this until it dries up. I swear to God, I'm not even joking. Anyways, my number one is the Jordan one low cost in UNC. Shout out to black sheep. For actually sending an invoice on those. I was just like, hey, can we get an invoice? They were like, sure. What size is it? I was like, gulp. Like, uh, <laughs> gulp. 12 and 9 and a half. It was like, on the way. I was like, oh, shite. On the way. They gave us all three of those SBs. Uh, now they only do local raffles. So, anyways. Did you, that's uh, did you guys have the other costume one? The one with our, the like. The brown one? Yeah, the one. Yeah, that, like, we got them from there away. too. Yeah, we got all three of them from there. I remember man. I wanted those so bad. I still don't have. Them. Shout out to Black Sheep, that, man. That's Real. the that shoe is the ultimate sucks but doesn't suck shoe of all time. Facts. It was just different. 
Who's going next? I'll go next. All right. Let's go. go one order. Close Since you out. just made your list when you got here. I did. <laughs> Number 10, Sneaker Freaker, Puma, Blaze of Glory, Great White. Lord, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Is okay. that the one that got the little twist, the, the gadget on top? Yes. Sneaker Freaker no. is from New Zealand or Australia or what? One uh, of those. Australia. Okay, what's it called? Puma? Sneaker Freaker, Great. Uh, Puma, those. Blaze of Glory. I never really Great understood White. why... How a company from Australia got so involved in the sneaker community? I don't so know. they're fire, but the box is—it's <laughs> like three X boxes. The box is huge, so I'm never selling them because way too big. So it's on your list because the box is <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh Not because they fire. Uh, no, they're still fire. I, I told myself I would get all four, and then I bought that one, and I was like, yeah, I'm good. Man, you know what I have? What's that? <laughs> what's that off-brand sneaker store, sneaker manufacturer we used to talk about? I copped a couple pairs from. I still have those. Uh, off-brand manufacturer. Oh, yeah. We used to talk about that brand when it like came out of nowhere. They had a shoe that kind of looked like that. But Creative like Rec. Low top. No man. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Creative Recreations. <laughs> Supra. Yeah. <laughs> Ted, yeah, Supra Terry Kennedy's. We, what's the brand? We used to talk about it all the time. You know what I'm talking about. Osiris. Play? No, no, man. That's a. All the brands you're naming are like mainstream brands. I'm talking about something that would be similar to like Mosh type thing, like bigger than Mosh but slightly bigger. Bigger than Mosh. See No. <laughs> What's oh, that man. brand you we got only the, bought a couple pairs from? You got the, we, and we own them? I'm a, unless you got rid of them. Like, it's not like they had resale value, but they were Humo? one pair. Oh, what'd you say? Homo? No, what no. were you going to say? Karumba? <laughs> Karu? I Karumba? What's the one? Is it Karu? The ones that Manor sell? Car who? No, Car- no, oh. not that. The, the, That's a mainstream brand, too. It's smaller, but it's mainstream. The one with brand. the... You know the what I'm talking about. on it. Come Bruce? on, George. Bruce? You got to give me something. Deodora? Ice creams? I can't remember the name of it. I think they were, I think they were from LA. Ice creams. Let's go. Bricks and wood? Bricks and wood? <laughs> All right, you don't, you don't I don't chill. know. They're from the California. Lens? You gotta give me something. No, I, I'm man. intrigued now. And we bought them? More than one? Yes, I think I bought two of them and you had some too. Clear weather. Yes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Boom. See, he knows. I told you you would know. Look at that. Rocky. I still got those. Clear got weather. Two pairs. They're, they're actually got a fire. Yeah, clear weather. Clear weather got some fire stuff. It's just too expensive. Huh? Yeah. I didn't even know that they still existed. Whew. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> we went out. Hey, we went around the world. Yeah. That took a lot <laughs> out of me. Your energy. That took a lot. I bought my first pair of clear weathers from Manor the, mm-hmm. on the grand opening. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they had them. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. wore mine online. We unlocked some Ooh. core memories. Um, Creative Rex, too. <laughs> number nine, <laughs> West NYC New Balance 580 Alpine Guide. Mm. I feel like the you OG? own those. OG yeah. higher. The OG, right? Yeah. Okay, because they retro those, didn't they? No, they did not. They did, they yeah, did the they same colorway in a different did. model. Oh, yeah. colorway different model. Okay, Bam. okay. Yeah. And Mach did a um. Alpine he did a colorway, too. But, uh, but if, if, that, if you still own that, that should be higher. I hated I love that, that shoe, I but I don't. That I never owned first, it. So. I hated the colorway of it. Well, it's nah, fire now. Fire. Because I, I hate that model. I had um. I, I had burnt rubbers. Remember, yeah. I, I had burnt rubber uh, blue collar and yeah. white collars. I thought I got them joints. Ahead. I was like, yes. Oh, fire. Suck. Five eighty sevens. Uh, five eighties. Oh, that's what they are. Yeah. Uh, number eight, New Balance nine nine eight C note. Because duh, it's that's to me, one. it's the greatest New Balance ever made. The greatest New Balance collab ever made. Mm. Number seven, Air Max One Flamingo Pink Pack from 2006. Never even heard of that. I What's think it look like? Seen it. Um, Flamingo Pink Pack. Is it worth anything? I think I know. Probably. probably not anymore. Really? I didn't pay a whole lot for him. It's a pack. Yeah, it was 2006. Yeah, 2006. Flamingo <laughs> Pink Pack. Not much. Pack. Life yeah. left. Oh, yeah. okay. good lord! Yeah, those are fire. Yeah, these ones that are worth three thousand, three thousand, fam. Oh yeah, Pink well, pack those fl- are DS. You got these? Yeah, you better sell those. Good lord! What do you mean? <laughs> They're not DS, genius. So, so yeah, but that. I mean, shoot, yeah. if they three thousand brand new, you's got to be what? Look, one on Poshmark. What is it? Is I don't feel like looking at that. No Look at that. Oh shoot! And they still charging three hundred. <laughs> Look at that. 
I'm going to I didn't think he said Nike. I thought you said something else. He, he said Air Max Nike. One. Oh. Oh no, I thought you said Air Force One. Sorry. The last sale was seven hundred dollars. It's down one hundred ninety-five. Oh bucks. yeah, there's a uh-huh. shoe uh-huh. that you didn't say that I'm surprised you didn't say. Mm-hmm. Number six, SB Dunk High, Ferris Bueller. Yeah. It's the best SB ever made, in my opinion. Best SB ever made? Ever. <laughs> to him. <laughs> that voice. Yeah. Number <laughs> five, Wave Runner, 700s. Mm. Mm. That entered a bajillion raffle. I, so, I bought and sold those three different times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> never, I, I still nice. don't have a pair. I've <laughs> never owned one pair. Because guess what? When that charge came through for 325 with tax and shipping, and I could sell them for... <laughs> I could sell for six hundred. I was like, bye bye. Them <laughs> joints were a hitter. I I've wanted them so bad, but I saw that charge. I was like, I've nope. worn them like <laughs> twice. I've tried every single time. Have never owned one. Zero. I've literally owned three, and they're all gone. <laughs> Number four, uh, Pata Air Max One Corduroy. Good one. Yeah. What that color was, was that one? Honestly, the that Navy. was one of the wackest things Adidas ever did. Like the Navy, uh, they would the have Navy like one? five thousand okay. pairs, and they would give like twenty five thousand people access. <laughs> like, what are y'all doing, though? Just give the exact number of people access that of shoes you have. That shit was so wild. Adidas like you would get sometimes. so excited. Oh my god, they I got access to Weatherman's or not Weatherman's. What, 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 what do we say? <laughs> wave what, runners. What, wave runners. And then you go and there's no pairs. Like what? Ooh, huh? Weather pack. Wave Stupid. runners. Weatherman's. <laughs> uh, number three. It's about to be in some weather in uh, China, and Japan right now. Uh-huh. That. Oh, said, I already saw it. They Japan's said already. Like, the water's rising. Or well, well, no, the tsunami it's going yeah. out. The yeah, water's it's going out. out oh, the ocean. Oh, so like ocean. Godzilla's coming. <laughs> uh, zero. Number three, hang on. Deodora N9000 Saturday Special. One of your favorite shoes. Get you you Google love ready. those. I do. He brings that up like almost every time he's on the pod. Every time. <laughs> you own a. Even I know what that. Podcast, even I know fire. what a Deodora hang on is. Now. <laughs> yeah, we don't even got to look up number. We know. <laughs> you own uh, Sockety Burgers. I don't. I uh, wish I did. I thought you did. No, nah, I wish I did. No, you don't. They're unreal. Yes, I do. They suck. Bro. Nah, you suck. And Simple, <laughs> Simple couldn't stop talking about that shoe. Me and Greg, like way back in the day, we were like, man, those suck. Nah, that <laughs> shit, no. the, I think I have a, a, a respect for those. Uh, those are now, when I see them, I always go, okay, they're not too they're bad. Top, <laughs> yeah. They're top three. They're not number one, but they're top like oh, four man. or five me of all time. Design choices like that should be for the independent. A hamburger? What are we talking about? Here? That was back in the days when people were like, "That's fire!" Yeah, like, this is the it was a ketchup simple, mustard. What was, a, what was the brand from oh, Vegas man. that did two different Snack packs packs of yeah. chips? Feature, like the, feature. Like the, like the, like the, they did like five of those. Yeah, yeah. I needed every job, single bro. one. A uh, playing chip. Fire. You talking about game? You hate gambling? You should have protested. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. I mean, this goes for. It's Air Tech Challenge 2 Wimbledon, but like any Tech Challenge 2s, I'll never sell. Number one, <coughs> A6, East Coast Pack, Knicks. Never leaving. Oh, the when they came with the Miami one too? Ooh, never. I should have copped that for the Miami trip. Did you get those from Seeker? <laughs> nope. Well, I don't think it. You just copy it on the Miami trip. Retail. You should go to round two online. first. Day. Round two still exists there? No. <laughs> do they exist anywhere? You got them next ones? They I assume wore they them? do, but I have he no idea. They closed a bunch of them. They, oh, they, they did? did? They closed the East Coast one. You got to wear some of this. Was it Carolina or Virginia or something? Virginia. You know what? He closed Let me go back and right. say that right. You know what I'm starting to realize, and this may sound stupid having as much things as I got? I got a lot of fire. Mm-hmm. Like, you look through we your stuff. We all do. Like, yeah, if you look really look through your closet. I don't think I do. But yeah, uh, fam, you just said Knicks. Uh, that Knicks and that Miami, them two were like, everybody was trying to get that stuff. Yeah, that flamingo pack, that thing's worth three thousand dollars. <laughs> what are you talking oh, yeah, about? Do flamingos. Um, I could like I, I've been looking like through my closet. Like I, I was like, oh man, maybe I wore this, and I'm like, oh man, I got all the pata with the waves. I got like I was like, I got some fire the in here. Last time I wore pata with the waves, I was I went to sneaker con with my mom. Cause she got paddled with the waves too. That's so right. Both Dang, and man. then I put my black pair of paddle waves. They're filthy. They mm-hmm. actual kicked up mud. No idea where. Like I think maybe Oscar Wilde and then put them back in the box and didn't tell me. <laughs> I have no idea why they got mud on them. Huh? That's probably half your shoes in there. And you I'm probably didn't know Oscar like, wore them. And what <laughs> they're the? all dirty. And I went, oh man. And I got babes. I got so much stuff that I go, man. I really got a dope collection. Which I think yeah. why like 
haven't been trying to buy lately. If you really look mm-hmm. at your stuff, I don't have room to be first. Of I, all. Yeah, I don't either. And me and my wife has been getting into that. Like we can't open the door anymore. But like <laughs> the and the boxes keep showing up. Yeah, but when you wear them, you look and you go, "Holy crap!" Like I got some heat in this joint. That's like why I can't sell anything. Yeah, that's part of too why. Like I think I've kept too much stuff that's fire. Like you know, anyways. like where, where do you start? Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's crazy. And it's like, what are you gonna sell some vans for twenty bucks? Like, fam, I got exactly. all the Pata van. I saw you post that picture. Did you post a picture recently with the, the brown Pata vans? I haven't worn my. I haven't. Yeah, I went wore, to D-backs game. Yeah, fam, like I got heat. Uh, we all got heat in the closet. It's time to wear this stuff. You talking about them kid Aspen, fam? That kid Aspen. Ultra Boost was a, was a moment, yeah. all right, in sneaker culture. It was the very first mid, was it the very first mid Ultra Boost? Yes, <laughs> like, it was. That joint was thick, and it was rainbow. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. The streets is asking for it, George. <laughs> really and are. if you went to Aspen, you actually got them pretty easily, because I think they had them for the whole week they were there. <laughs> Probably oh, nobody knew what they were. <laughs> I mean, what people, people I, went to get well, them. Well, I know, but, but if like, you live there. In the city, whatever, yeah. yeah. They probably, I'm sure it's those questions you see when you're lined up and the old people walking by. Yeah. What are you guys lining up for? It was like Greg at a Frank Lloyd Wright. Oh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. He said it was engineers that are uh, uh, actual architects. Architects, architects. Yeah. They were like, "Yeah, we just love his early work." I was uh, like, "Oh, the building." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's up, Andy? What you got? All right, number ten. I know this came out, but any of the D books, I'm not selling them. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect anything <laughs> less. Huh? Hey, guess what? That that goes for the chapter ones. That goes for the GT hustle. That goes for the Air Force One PEs. That goes for. Oh yeah, I forgot it. He had some air. Force now, what if he gets? What if he demands a trade? Nah, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> what the if Lakers. he demands a trade? Now nah. he could only look, stay here for so or long. The Warriors. Hey, Steve Nash went to the Lakers at the end of the year. I kind of feel like it's okay. I kind of feel like he's immersed in the he's ours. Now. Devin Booker's ours. He like, belongs to Phoenix. Hey, hey, you know, I feel like he wouldn't want he's to. Not going you know what I mean? Yeah. He's ours. I, I will say this though. The Suns need to trade Kevin Garnett. I mean, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, yeah. For Kevin Garnett. It's time. <laughs> yeah. And I'm only saying that not because he sucks. It's because, like, he has he the highest – his value still. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't want to hold on to, like – and it's not like that he sucks. Like, we could get a lot for him. I would trade him back to get Cam. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Draft date. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Costner. <laughs> I, I, I want my original pick. Fam, <laughs> I didn't appreciate Bridges, Mikael Bridges, enough. You don't listen You're to right. me. You don't appreciate you don't me. That's why. Me and George have been saying this for That's ever. fine. <laughs> I didn't appreciate him enough, and I, and I didn't appreciate his value to the team. But guess what? Cam Johnson kind of sucked. Oh, no. Not Cam Johnson. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to take him. I, I know, but guess what? He's always injured. And well, he's he, always The hurt. worst part of the trade was all the first-round picks. But, well, yes, the but, next one was Macau. I mean, but they're yeah. all pick swaps, too. Yeah. So there's that. People always said the Suns don't have any draft picks. They just have pick swaps. Like, they're going to have a draft pick every year. That's just going to be, like, 20-something. Facts. But, all right, so number 10, I need the D-Bucks. Like, there's not going anywhere. Nope. Number nine, because I always wanted these from the first day they came out, but I got the restock. Yeezy 350 Turtle Dubs. Yeah. They're not worth anything anymore anyways, but I'm not selling them. <laughs> I didn't know the Yeezy on That's crazy. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I remember Turtle Dubs and Moon Rocks Thousand, and Slates and whatever. 1,200 and... I thought oh Ox- I was convinced gosh. that Oxford Tans were the best Yeezys to come out. I, I love the Oxford Tans. I sold Oxford Tans. Pirate Blacks and Moon Rocks. I never had Turtle Dove. I sold all that stuff because the Yeezy started talking crazy. And now look at me. I'm sitting here with one. I got one rich right and now. And I got all mine. Not even the OG. I got, I got like 10 pairs of 350s. Not even the OG. Oh, because they retro. Yeah. I got 10 I pairs of 350s. Stripes. You still got retro, all of them? I got all of them. I just have, I have Olive Stripes, Beluga, 2.0, had those, Wave Runners, had them and all. Zebras. Mm-mm-mm. I need to pull my Zebra soon. I've. That's a life lesson. Uh, no, who shit. cares? Uh, let people do what they want to do. They want to be racist, man. Let them be racist. That's not like to do with me. <laughs> do what you got to do, man. <laughs> like, I, ain't got, I ain't got time for that. Yeah. What's up? Number eight, uh, Adidas EQT Bodega Babies. Mm. Mm. I love that shoe. Mm. I've only I worn w- it once. I but... would love to wear those, and I'd never do. You know what they kind of remind me of? They kind of remind me of Fear of Gods a little bit. The shape a little bit of them. I don't really know if I care for the model, but I love that bodega it, baby. It just looks good. It's so good. You do a little quarter sock with it, like God. I got mm-hmm. mine from Barney's. Was Barney's mm-hmm. was here? Oh, I caught. It I, was I it was here. one of my like yeah. 
watch list on eBay, and I finally got them for like 110 bucks or something. Yeah, DS. I got them off Barney's Black Friday for like $70 or $65 or something. I think them joints are still on some websites, and that's Probably no joke, be. like Sides 5 yeah. and stuff like that. They're nice. Uh, all right, number seven, Jordan 1 OG Black Toes. Mm. Yeah. Mine are pretty beat. But uh, they probably look better. Beat with all the mm-hmm. with all the reimagined stuff they're doing, like the original Black Toe is not going to come out for a while, and it okay. hasn't. I mean, what is it? Two thousand six, fifteen, sixteen was the last one. Something like that. Mm-hmm. I sold my pair to Simple, Simple. like a moron. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you didn't agree. <laughs> I'm just telling. But story. now I got you got lows. You'll be all right. Now I, uh, mm-hmm. exactly. Right. Some lows are n- lows are not the same as highs. You'll be all right. It's the only low. That doesn't even like where you go, like, I'd rather with a low than a high. I'd rather a black toe Facts. high than a black toe low. You know why? Because there's not enough red on the bottom of the low. The it, red on the top, on the high. Is that what it is? I think that's what it, it is. I can I, I just can't figure it out. I, I got to look at a black toe Because otherwise, high it just looks like a panda almost. Maybe. I can't even think I'll wear it on Friday. You'll change your mind. Nah. You got rope, like, You got cream laces in it? You ain't going to be at work Friday. No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, got, I won't be there this Friday. I'll be in Miami. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you, got, you got cream laces in you, yours? Well, you going to Miami game or what? You, oh, dang. Look at you, dude. Rich. <clears throat> All right. Number. You, you want to wear that cardigan right there? Dude? Nope. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> if I do wear them, I have my shirt open, though. Dang. Too chun. All right. Number six. <laughs> mm, Off white. Dunk OG, Michigan State. You know, you've had that for a really long time. <laughs> <It's so long. laughs> and he died. Not it's like so I have two off white shoes, and that's one of them. Oh, okay, all right. Because I, I mean, we talked about are you gonna sell it or yeah, what? I'm but no, he died. Okay, I, I, I get he, that. Virgil man. died. Like this yeah, is not gonna okay. come out again. Yeah, I wear my other off white shoe a lot, like the track one, which I do really like, the track spike one. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, I, just, I sold that to Mac. That kind of went up in price like, Did it? recently. Oh, they used to be so cheap. I got it for like he's stuck half in the microwave. <laughs> the kidding. plastic yeah. would melt. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I mean, I he like, ain't he never probably. getting rid of any of those because ain't nobody buying them. <laughs> <laughs> nobody buying them. It's cooked. <laughs> Literally cooked. <laughs> nobody buying. There's no way I can sell that just for the microwave special. Like, so. oh, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, number five. What George has on his feet right now? Mm. Mm, cocaine babies. Basic crack con- babies. Gel eight five eight balls. <laughs> Mine are destroyed. That's another shoe that like. That's the shoe like you like. I'm like, what did I do? Yeah, In those the, are the toe. Absolutely, cut. the toe. Yeah. You go toe like box. what? Yeah. Well, you can see on George even like you can see where you walk and like the creases are in the sole there. yeah yeah mine are like that too you know what's crazy when when dion those, came on the pod and cool. explained those fam i was like when we first bought them I was like, why did they come with these gold and blue <laughs> laces and when he explained that i was like this is fire exactly gold and black laces for the visa credit card for the cocaine mm-hmm. come on man now, that was elite storytelling back in the day <laughs> the stories now on these sneakers stop all right i'm trying to hear it like fam like the what? laces came in a crack vial crack okay yeah. come like, on man. like what the wemby like P- that wemby p you sent like what, it's that an alien, alien? oh it's an stop. alien he looks Ugh. like an alien fam wemby has nine blocks right now dude he almost got a qu- he almost got a quadruple nine. double he is, and they're beating the Nuggets. Every single thing that we mm-hmm. thought, yeah. every single thing that we didn't yeah. know, <laughs> that we didn't know he was going to be. We 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 were hoping, but come on, you're fam. one. He I, is the guy. No. So my only mistake was I think I said I would have taken Chet over him, Oof. which now, well, Chet is a star or on the verge. He's of that. not a but Wimby, Wimby is an alien. Yeah, Wimby. I mean, Chet Wimby has is, too many other weapons around him. Wemby's going to be the face of the NBA. Oh, one hundred percent. Like he's fam, and it's good to have a fellow Frenchman. Uh, I don't a fellow Frenchman. Well, def- hold on, define that. What do you mean? Face of the NBA, like so. Once, like right but now, you, but you don't mean the best player. You just no. mean they're going to use him. Yes. Like, okay, all right, I'm fine with that. Because like the face because of the NBA you, has been like Curry, KD, LeBron. That's, the only reason I'm challenging it is because earlier in this show you named all the super young players I that know. are only like two, three, four years older than Wemby. So uh, he ain't taking over while them cats in the league. No, I face of the NBA because. Uh, Okay. Because guess what? He's he seems very uh, he's very marketable. Where like they oh, like, yeah. they have Luke, they've had Luca for how many years and Luca, like he heard, can't market him. Fam, I heard no. Luca do an interview today. He's still 
I mean, listen, I'm sure he speaks more English than, you know, Wemby. Pick a guy. <laughs> nah, I don't. Nah, Wemby is like fluent in English. Yeah, bro. but like, Luca is too. But he talk weird. well. No, no, no. Yeah, but he. But when you talk to him, you don't get the sense that he like. You know, is Luca like, too can much joke attitude around with too. you? Yeah, Luca's. I mean, Wemby, I love like, Luca, but like, you listen Luca's to Wemby a speak. Like, Wemby, fam, Wemby is might as well be from England. Like you know? Luca is just like you love his game, but like there's something about you, you just don't like, like him. Sometimes. I don't like anything about him. Well, he is he is arrogant. There's no doubt about that. And I love arrogance, and especially in a basketball player. The complaining to the refs is just yeah, like, but it's something with him. Sometimes you're like, buddy, when he, like, he'll he'll be like this to the refs on. and like doing shit like he's that. He's like, 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 buddy, relax, man. But uh, yeah, the eight ball Asics, one of the greatest stories ever. The packaging came wrapped up in saran wrap like a cocaine brick. Like, stop it, man. Concepts, where are you at, man? Yeah. Where Dion, is Concepts where at, Dion, where man? You, at? you know what? I'm gonna hit Dion. Dion said he was coming back to. The, I gotta hit him up again. I got some questions. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number four. Tune in next week. Though. I'm gonna get him for next week, man. Number four, Kobe nine Moonwalkers. Yeah, that is one of my favorite Unreal. Kobe's of all time. Underrated too. And it's like the only nine that's like really good. When I saw that moon on the and bottom Beethoven. and the clear sold yep. fire. Yeah. That, Beethoven, which one's Beethoven? Oh, the black and white ones. Yeah, yeah. The, the nine was a nice model, but like some of the colorways were just like so whack, and they didn't have a lot of them either. Oh, yeah, but uh, that's one I'll never sell. It, the purple just pops so nice off of that. Them is clean. Yep. All right, number three, Jordan One OG Low Chicago's. I will never sell those. You got them too? Uh-huh. I wear those all the time. I must those be the only beaters. person without them. Though. Every Sunday. I got those at that oh, outlet for about $43, and I should have bought about three pairs. Wait, he don't got any lows? Oh, What's up with your cousin, though? My cousin. <laughs> What's up with George's son? <laughs> I I mean, I had a feeling that was coming like way before you said cousin. I don't, I don't know why you laughing so hard. You didn't expect that to come. I just know. I just love it. That's one of the best things in the thread. Father and son, are two of the most angry people I know. Uh, uh, love yeah, it. Uh, my OGs are they're they're pretty beat. I, I should have had should have bought like three more pairs when I bought them, but I didn't know any better, and it is what it is. I but. don't know how come we miss like some of those opportunities. Like, why did we go? Like what? I didn't used to double up back then. That's why. Yeah, but I didn't like, think about it. The, yeah, but like, I got my De La Souls for sixty bucks, and it was a wall. It wasn't like oh a few mm-hmm. sizes. Yeah. It was a whole wall. At one point, there were thirty. Those, yeah, those De La Souls. And I'm like, fam, I was at a Marshalls, and it has California highs. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I was like, sixty bucks at Marshalls? Like I ain't giving Marshalls my sixty. Stupid. And then that's like a that's like. <laughs> Dinner and drinks for you and Orcio right there. Not Man, even. Dinner and drinks. That's just drinks. Yeah, hold, yeah. hold on a second. They lost. Let me clarify that. Denver won. Wimbayama oh. had 23, 15, 8, and 9. I know. I, I was tracking. He had Sorry. Seven. Sorry, Chet. He, he, he had, <laughs> sorry, Buckle. Wemby had seven assists at halftime, too. He should have had a quadruple. Triple, mm. No, quadruple, quadruple double. double. All right, Blocks so, is obviously the hard one, but like if there's yeah. anyone who can do it, it's oh, yeah. obviously him. I mean, because he gets a lot of his on like three pointers. Yeah, like jumping you out at people. Like I, even like Bull Bull will do that sometimes, where like you just don't realize how long these guys yeah. are and like their wingspan, and it's like they take one little step and they're like tipping the ball. There's nothing worse than when you like pull up for a three and it, this guy is already covered. Yeah, that sucks. Because you try <laughs> to adjust it, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you <be> like this. <laughs> I right. mean, the shot, what game was it? Uh, who, I don't know if it was, NC, NC State played Duke, right? Who did, Alab- was it Alabama? Clearweather. Yep. Who was the, who just played, I don't know if it was a Sweet 16 or Elite 8, but like, they, they had for all the, the time to draw the last play up, and like, oh. what they ran was like a step oh. back 30 foot. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, Houston. Houston. He dribbled for 10 seconds, and then all he did was like, okay, sidestep, and it was like a fall away 30 footer, and hit like the side of the rim. Kelvin, Samson, fam, yeah. that's what you drew up. I don't know if he drew that up. I'm, well, I mean, <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> I they hope didn't not. It must have been telephone game because yeah. they didn't hear what he said. Yeah. What's well, right, number so two? Number three, Jordan Lowe's. Uh, number two. Here's like my story one. My one story one. So it's Jordan Five, the only Jordan Five I own anymore. The Kwai Fifty Fours. So when I got back, the into white and green. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The white ones. Um, 
because they had the black ones too, but yeah. I, I got the white ones. So the, when I got back into sneakers, like it was like 2010 ish, after not really caring for since high school, uh, I was working with Jay Waves, Jamal, and you know he's a sneaker guy. He's the one that got me into the eight dollars on you group. But uh, I'm like, we just talk sneakers all day. And then he started downsizing, and he's like, yeah, I'm getting rid of these, this and this. And he told me about, he was getting rid of those. And I was like, oh, let me grab those. Because he I think he charged me like 250 At the time, was like oh, yeah, pretty damn good. Because those were hard to – the Quiet 54s were hard <laughs> to get were back hard, then. Yeah. Those yeah. They were. Was the black harder? Was it the I black? The white, the white one was harder. White was hard? Oh, okay. Yeah. I know one of them was the hardest. And it wasn't even my size. It's a size 10. And, like, I can fit it. But, like, I'll throw them on every once in a while. But it's just like – with the price he gave me and like like kind of you said with the stuff you've kind of been gifted yeah. and everything like those are ones that you you don't see anywhere like ever ever mm-hmm. um so i just will never sell those i and they'll crack probably and crumble but shout out to Jay waves man yeah doing his thing and number one nike dunk wins big fly mm-hmm. that's probably your top three favorite shoe for me uh i got them for a super Steal at a dollar sign you like a hundred bucks or something like that, and I just will never sell those. They're my one of my favorite shoes, probably my favorite shoe. Why did that become our favorite? One of our favorite dunks, because like Cause that, it rules. that it does. That, but that like, pink really was not put on anything it, else. <clears throat> yeah, like whew, when pigs fly. I think I was the only one who didn't get them. George got them. You got them. Don't you got them? You got them. Hey. Everybody got them. You got to update your eBay watch list. The, I have to find them, the though. The crazy thing about look, that man. one was that I got the Concepts exclusive pair. Yeah. Didn't you always have a skateboard? And No. no. <laughs> oh. They, I don't maybe No, they it had, had, like, trucks or something, I think. It? Well, yeah, it had extras in there. I think it came with a T-shirt and something else. Now, that one wasn't my size. Lace locks. my size somewhere else. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Lace they didn't include it in the package, so I was like, oh, I got screwed. And somebody on either on Twitter or Facebook or something was like, oh, no, nah, their customer service is good. Just send them an email. They'll send it to you. Bam. I emailed. They had them joints to me in, like, two, three days. Mm, greatest customer service ever back in those days to the good old days though when they had stories they had good customer service it ain't like that no more now you probably call concepts probably a robot (laughs) they don't have a phone number probably i'm sorry did this say 350 for when pigs fly and a size 12 authentic wait a minute how much of when pigs two oh so guess it just cops i'm going with 260 just cop i'm about to just cop let's go this is it you didn't look at other websites first? You didn't no. sleep on it? Uh, oh, I copped a... Uh, <laughs> no. I copped... Let's see. Uh, you better wear those next week. Let me double check his feedback. I do have one pickup, but it's not for me. It's a birthday present. For Greg? Let's go. Yeah, oh, right. I know what it is, too. It gotta be It gotta be the one. You go, You already said it, though, on here, right? I don't think so. You said, said it I many times. It. Oh, I okay. I actually copped it, though, but oh, Abe, Abe copped it for me. Oh, fam. It actually came from... StockX Japan, like it's location, even authentic, I authentic. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, I don't know if it's gotten authenticated. I hope it got at the shipped. Warehouse, but... It gets shipped because they're having problems wow. today. Yeah, Wait, yeah, it's a know, women's I shoe. Said it did. The boat made me move faster. It's, it's a, on a boat. Hannah's birthday present. Is it a women's yeah. shoe? <laughs> Coming well, from it, Japan. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be because I order stuff from. Um, I was gonna say his name. I'm glad I didn't say his name. <laughs> I've ordered stuff from the plug in men's size, in men, a men's shoe in a, in a women's French equivalent French. size. French um, or no? 260, fam. We're now on when pigs fly, Let's man. go! Let's go back to pickups, Greg. Well, what, you what'd you get? Now you ain't copying whatever you were saying at the beginning. What were you saying you were going to cop? Oh, uh, but like, Union uh, Highs? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have to wait a little while on those. Huh? <laughs> He's got to do some research first. You got to hit up Rerun. And... Fam, what, what did you cop? I mean, when pigs fly, off of? eBay. Oh, I was gonna say you should have just, fam. If, if you want something, let me know. I'll ask Abe, bro. Well, let me double check stock. You know? <laughs> Tell somebody that accidentally copped so. it. <laughs> Refuse shipment. God, there's so many on here. Anyways, <laughs> when pigs fly. What were you on? Two or one? one? That was one. That was one. That was one. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, on StockX, there are a lot more. Which size are you? Nine and a half. Oh, a thousand dollars. A lot more. Oh, uh, yeah, we good. I, I, the, I probably bought a pre-owned pair, too. Oh, yeah, but they fine. look good. Like, I, I, ain't, I ain't loaded, no. I, ain't I didn't loaded. sell a Bill Gibson card this weekend. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Did you see that cat who was online trying to say she was fine or whatever? And oh, a few fam, people did. come on, man. And then Afri- that, looked, that was probably one of her better pictures, but come on, Family, man. Africanda, he said, you telling me she's not fine? He just responded in one word. He said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Africanda's funny. I He's see that funny, shit. Though. I'm oh my God. Now, He's funny. Now, I'm going to say this. <laughs> If you in a bar and you drunk and you in college and she's an athlete, like you ain't saying no, but she ain't fine. Let's be very clear. All right. You're I doing mean, it. You're doing you're that in that, Iowa. What? You you're doing that for the culture. Uh, I don't like know. I said, if you in a bar, listen, listen. You might be doing it for your she's future. She's an though. athlete. You, I mean, clearly she's in shape. All right. Let me just make that very clear. You know what I'm doing? But I'm trying to put fine. I'm no. trying to put a baby in that. Yeah, I'm doing that for my future. <laughs> I'm do- you you know, might ruin you might ruin hers. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta take it slow. That's true. Uh, no, no, like Dave Chappelle skit when he when he impregnated Oprah. He's like, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like uh, that Asian congressman that's like wood. He's <laughs> like tackling him. I'm like, wood. Oh, that, that, that's a whole yeah, that guy. Yeah. No. Mm, wood. <laughs> I mean, uh, I just don't want people acting like they wouldn't like. I mean, just be realistic. Uh, about it. Like seriously, but hey, man, but, I yeah, see Mel like, Gibson now. But hey, yeah, but you wouldn't have known about that before. Is my point. Like, yes, yeah. you have a psychological block. Hey, I wait, wait. Sh- mm-hmm. Shout out C C T E S P N just so we don't get uh, <laughs> on their bad side. <laughs> But, Somebody uh, said he broke character on that one thing. I was dying laughing. <laughs> <laughs> when he said, I have somebody run my social media, they were like, oh, shit, he broke character. I was dying laughing. All right, Joe, let's do this so we can go home. All right, number 10. What's reimagined Jordan 1 Chicago's called? Because I know that's not Trophy? a true name. Lost oh, and Found. Lost and Found number 10. What? Uh, Chicago, Chicago Jordan 1, I'm not selling. Not the Lowe's? What's so- up? Oh, uh, relax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jump relax. the gun. <laughs> Number nine. I probably could have put another SB low here or SB high or whatever, but I put pink pigs probably because I don't have wind pigs fly anymore. Dang. So I put pink pigs on. Dang, there. they're on eBay. And, cops. and I yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I wish wind pigs fly were lows when they came out, but uh, you know, water into the bridge. If they make them a low, if they make them a low. Then I gotta sell the highs I just got. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I see that's a, a DJ Clark Kent advice. <laughs> you really didn't want them. There should be an eight ball for DJ Clark Kent advice. Uh, well, you you shake it <laughs> and it says what he told us on a podcast. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Uh, number eight. Uh, this double couple reasons why I would never sell this, but Yellow Curve SB Dunk Low. Nice. I wouldn't sell it anyways, but it was also the first shoe that <gasps> Hannah ever bought me. So, hold on. So you didn't put Hawaii's on there or something? I had Hawaii's on my list. Dang, guess what I did I read? Yes, yeah, you're a loser. Honorable mention. Play the put the put, play the curb music on the on the, dun, dun, on the boards. Dun, 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 How did I miss that? I know we got I know we got the curve song uh, programmed into the boards. Dang, I didn't put Hawaii's Y'all haven't been here. There? I don't think since the new thing showed up, and he's been so hype every episode that with that new board. Damn it. What Hawaii? I is? didn't put Hawaii SB. Hawaii SB low, the patent leather. Oh, that's, that's, that's your favorite dunk. That's favorite. Ah. My favorite dunk. You're yeah. a loser. Guess that's it. That's all right. You can't go to Hawaii, uh, Florida now. No, mm-hmm. Miami. They won't very, let you in. Very first SB. You I have popped. to repent for the entire week. I bought those and send helps at the exact same time. So yellow curb SB is number eight. They never sell those. Uh, number seven, salmon toe gel light five kith asic. Mm. I mean, I worn those into the ground and. The first one, obviously, is iconic, legendary, whatever you want to call it. I like Jell-O Fives better. I'm definitely not selling that. Number six, 97-1, Sean Wotherspoon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did it have a name uh, other than that? Nope. No? I mean, I know. Guy, you own those. You still got them? Yeah. He wouldn't sell them. They're on my list. Oh. Do you even wear those? I haven't worn them in a while, but yeah, I mean, I've worn them a handful of times. I think I've seen you wear them at least twice personally. I never have. Like at the pod or at the bar or something. I've never worn them in the pod. I've worn them between like three and five times, somewhere in there, a handful of times. Uh, Number five, Roller Derby SB Dunk Low. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Love them. Number four, maybe low, but that's all right. Costin UNC OG. Jordan Dang, one low, definitely Dang. not. Well, when you said that on the list, I was not in my head. <laughs> but, I mean, you, those might be. I mean, I have another one higher on the list, 
But those might be the best Jordan 1 low of all time. I agree. I just like the fact it was the first dunk co- collab, Jordan 1 low. Not Jordan 1, but Jordan 1 low. The shape is fire. It looks better than the other UNC colorways to me for some reason. UNC I'm, 1 highs are pretty good, though. I may be biased, but... UNC 1 highs are good, but the low is better. No one said this, and I'm actually surprised Greg didn't say it because I think he had it on his list the last time we did this or the last time we did something similar. Also, one of the things I didn't mention was a lot of these things on my list, I have them because I would never be able to get them again. Not meaning I can't pay over retail to get them again, but they're probably not releasing. Like, Dang, flex. Sam and Toad, Gel I-5 Kith, probably not going to release again. Sean Witherspoon, 97.1, probably not going to release again unless they say, let's make a you know, retro for some reason. Yellow Curb SB, <laughs> why would Nike make that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Pink Pig SBs, I guess, could in theory if they did the Wind Pigs Fly Low. And then reimagine Jordan 1, whatever they're called, Lost and Founds. They just made it. Why would they make it again? So um, for the most part. And then number four, Costin, like I said, I like the story behind it, everything. The tag, having the price tag on there, nineteen ninety nine or whatever is dope. But number three, I don't know why you didn't have this because it's not going to be made ever again. Someone uh, uh, could approximate it, I suppose, on Nike ID or whatever. But poor La Familia, Air Max 1. Oh. But I consider that like a. Fam, that might be the like greatest. A special, I'm not like even a special joking. Part that of my might ones. be the greatest Air Max One of all time. We've talked about it. Like <sighs> the way that thing's color blocked is flawless. See, I consider that in that realm of like <clears throat> that's I, exotic. Yeah, like I yeah. even though I paid for them, Gosh, but like I, mean, I would never in a million years. We all I know that's what the list is, but at least I mean we definitely should have bought doubles. We definitely well, should have bought doubles. Well, mine's still DS. So. Oh, you crazy? <laughs> yes, I've worn mine. I mean, I've only I've worn mine like maybe. I've worn mine too much. I don't say like I don't want to wear them again because I've I've. Got marks on them that I can't get off. Right? I probably have. Yeah, it's probably I've probably worn it the same number of times I've worn the Weatherspoon, which is just a handful. But mm-hmm. yeah, the shoe is flawless. I mean, I, I I know exactly where mine is. It's at one of my extra closets, and it's at the very bottom because it's a big old multiple sneakers. Well, it's closets. got that big old box, uh, yeah. so it's at one of the bottom shelves because it has it has the support for the other shoe. I would definitely have it in top ten all time. Mm-hmm. But if you really think about it, I wouldn't argue. Great it. The materials are flawless. It's just the color block is done flawless. Like, so well. If it didn't have that super nappy suede, I probably wouldn't feel as much as nicely about it as I do. But yeah, it's that, flawless. That's, I mean, that, yeah. you know what's crazy? That when we went to Manor and I bought it, I wasn't planning on buying it. Like I didn't want to spend any money. Like I, I, I was just like, oh, I'm just going to the party just to kind of hang out. And then I was like, oh, well, you kind of feel that social pressure. Like, well, I'm here, and they got the scan cards. Mm-hmm. Why not? Should have definitely bought more than yeah. one. Oh, I bought it on Doubled the up online at least. release. Yeah, yeah see, I bought yeah. it. I mean, they Manor. were selling for like 500 bucks or whatever after that. But <laughs> yeah. So I'm not I'm not even saying double up to resell. I'm just saying double no, up no. to have another yeah. fresh pair. God, what's crazy And I'm is not is really that, like, a double you... up person, but those are so clean, bro. Mm. And, mm-hmm. and the other part about being that color is you easily can ruin one. You, you know, know what? Also, the thing was, too, was that like once I found that, it, once I realized it was technically like a My Nike ID thing, I was a little skeptical about buying it because yeah. I don't know any of those that look that fire. Like, I don't know anybody yeah, who has one. Yeah, they come looking like a little bit cheaper for some Yeah, reason. they come looking worse, but his came looking like an official collab. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, better materials than better. the ones they sell. It's crazy. Do you know there is only one pair on StockX right now? One pair, one size. Yeah, like one total? Size That's 12. Crazy, you, can, you can double up <laughs> Yeah, what is it, 1,500? 1,250. Yeah, I mean, I was in a ballpark. <laughs> I was in the ballpark. I, I'm actually kind of curious how many pairs Marky kept for himself. Did he, does he have double up? For I've his seen own him self? wear a few pairs. They're pretty beat. Really? He, yeah, I mean, yeah. they should be if you if it's your pair. But I'm honestly, saying, like, Nike should. Does he have a fresh more. pair? I Nike haven't seen him. him. I haven't seen him wear a pair and in a while. He posts I mean, that on his Instagram a lot. Yeah. I'm, I suppose he, he does all the events. He always wears them at those. Mm-hmm. I suppose it's possible Nike could let people make it again, but I don't, just don't see. Yeah, because you could, at, at one point you could make them in the ID thing. You, you couldn't make them. Like people were sending me pictures of them. Like, mm-hmm. bro, you know you can make them. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah I know. It wasn't exact, but yeah, I don't it know. Exact. It was the exact colors. I just don't know oh, if it was the same I material. Rem- I remember seeing like a close approximation, but not an exact. Oh, uh, maybe not. Copy. I don't know. What's number two? Uh, two Chicago Low OG Jordan One. Andy asked about it. It's number two. <laughs> we got high end. I think it's the best one of all of them. But yep. honestly, I think the second. Not including the um, Costin because the Costin's an SB Jordan, but of the ones that are just the OG lows, I think Chicago number one, number two, um, I think is Black Toe. I mean, you hate it for some reason, but I think it's Black, I think Toe. Black Toe and Chicago are number one and two by far to me. Uh, what? Over Black Reds mm. and Royals too? Mm. Royal lows are better than Royal highs. The worst ones are uh, Shadow. You think so? Out of all I don't wear. Oh, okay. All, all out of all, all those. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
that's fine. Black toe. Honestly, me, the shape is I... better. I think. I think the shape. Uh, somebody uh, was it? Uh, who was one we were saying was uh, doing uh, April Fool's joke? Oh God! Uh, who was it? Uh, Unloved ones. Yeah. Who? Mister Unloved ones. Yeah. He, oh yeah. yeah. Shatter he, backboard. He he posted something about like the swoosh. You know how the swoosh was smaller on a couple of those, mm-hmm. and then now it's back to the same size. And I think the black toe was the first one that went back to the same size swoosh as the ones before. Mm. So that's, I think the that's weakest one at neutral grays. Mm-hmm. That's part of the. Oh, okay. I mean, those are fire to me. Neutral gray. Yeah. I don't know. Better than shadows. But I was talking Man, about like that. You know, in the years because they released like the four, four. all it was was like a European release, and Simple was the only one of all of us that got them. Yeah, but are they better than shadows? I think it's better than shadows, but but that doesn't no, the list. Look, look, you're you're talking about all shoes that are up here. It's nothing down here. It's like all close at the top. Because you know what? what I mean? It's how, not like there's how one many released at that in that period? That not the ones they're releasing after the fact. It was just the five, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the, shadows, the, the white neutral gray came out in like in Europe. Yeah, it came only out only in Europe. Only, yeah. And then all the other ones came out here, but they also did white with the red swoosh and white with the blue swoosh because I have the blue swoosh original one. Oh shoot, they did. Oh, That's no, I right. Forgot yeah. about that. I forgot those two. <clears throat> I remember. And, I, I mean, was, they're fire. I haven't worn them in forever. I remember. Fire to me I too. was going to meet someone at Foot Locker to get something that someone worked there. I remember staying out front, and you know they had one of the tables out there with all of them sitting there with like the sale tag on them, and I mm. would just stand there like an idiot, just didn't even. <laughs> I and got, I don't even I, know. Honestly, I can't remember what I picked up. Fam, I went. I told you, right? I went back and Egg looked. I went back and looked in my eBay history to see who I bought it from. Who was that scammer that had all that million pairs? Um, Zade 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 Kicks. Oh, I actually Zayda got Kicks. some of my low OGs from him. Dang. Shout out to him. You got fakes. Yep. <laughs> and then I think I orig- I think I had bought. I paid full price for black reds. Took them back to the outlet, and then I was like, "Why did I take those back?" And then I bought them from Zeta Kicks for like a hundred when they were like one fifty, right, or something like that. They were cheap. Oh, cheap. Mother. And number one should be obvious. I'm, I'm sure you guys already guessed what number one was, but Kobe Six Grinch. Yep, as it should be. But that joint's what a thousand though. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a thousand in my size for a long so, time. So no. no. She wants to sell it. She keeps on saying it, but I'm like, I'm not going to sell it. If you want to get rid of it, you sell it and keep the money. And like, that's not... another Christmas past that you didn't wear it. You're running out of Christmases, bro. Yeah. As we get older and older, you're running out of Christmases. Bro. Yeah, Wait. You better take advantage of it. <laughs> Do you still have the red ones? Yeah. I still got those, too. I'd be looking at prices on them. Them red ones suck, oh, man. Super suck. Now, they look fire on Juju on the court because Juju is fire, but I ain't on the court. Uh, I'm in the bed. So, <laughs> anyways, anybody got anything else? Nothing? Good, because I don't want to say nothing else. Let's sneak this. Pow, 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 pow. pow, pow, pow. pow, pow, pow. pow, pow.